We are live. Hello. Back for finals. Hello. Oh, there we go. There I, there I can hear myself. <laughs> Is well, everyone excited? Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to make sure it's going back. All right, all right. I'll make that. Oh, yeah, that sounds so much better. <laughs> so much better. Just those tiny corrections. Right, right. So everybody had a chance to relax. We all have eaten and went through our notes. The judges have tabulated the results. And we are ready for, um, actually, we're going to do the colors first, right? Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, Daryl has a, a army, um, what do you call it, a brigade? Or oh, a uh, color guard? Yeah, co army color guard. They're going to come okay. out and present the colors, yeah. Very, very professionally done. So we're going to do that to open the show. And then uh, after that, we're going to go into individual routines, which is what we all wait for. And that's what really the athletes uh, work so hard to perfect. They come out to their own music. And then we are going to go right into awards after that. So it's going to be exciting. Definitely exciting. And then also a lot of these athletes have finally gotten to eat. So if they come out with a little bit more smiles, with a little bit more joy, that's because they finally got to eat. That's for sure. So sure. definitely, definitely, definitely. So how about you guys in the chat right there? Who are you guys most looking forward to? Who are the individual performances that you guys are looking forward to? As well as who are you rooting for? Because you guys get to see them all on display right now. Mm -hmm. There were definitely some favorites in the chat um, earlier. Are, are there anybody, Sammy, that you are looking forward to seeing on this? Uh, you know, I'm actually looking forward to the bikini classes to see who the winners are in those classes because to me those were very, those were probably the most competitive. Right. Um, very close, just very <laughs> close call. Uh, I mean, I'm just looking forward to all of it, all of it. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Chris? How are you feeling? <laughs> you got me. Sexual <laughs> chocolate, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. So you're gonna. One of the competitors is referred to as sexual chocolate. And if you guys have all seen our uh, Eddie Murphy coming to America, you get you get the, the play on words, you get the joke. But he um, he did look amazing. And he, oh, we got a little music here from the DJ. Uh -oh. um, Looks like we're ready to get a start. Yeah, guys. and it's funny because his girlfriend is actually competing as a pro tomorrow. So, oh. yeah, they're taking over the Florida pro. Yeah, oh, good for, them. good for them. I'm in a vibe with this music right now, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. DJ Ruckus. Here, let's head over to DJ Ruckus. Turning it up. Oh, wait. Do I still have... There we go. My timer is... There we go. Oh, he's hiding behind Ian, but he's there. So Ian is our MC. He does so many shows here in Central Florida, all different organizations. And he will be introducing everybody, getting the crowd excited. He's great at, um, he just comes up with the, you'll actually enjoy him very much. He just comes up with jokes. He's just hilarious. And I don't know where he does it. He's so quick with it. He's a natural. He is a natural. He is a natural. And he's actually a, a former competitor himself. All right, here we go. We're going to do the colors. I'm just going to go here. Let's all stand and quiet.
Booyah. All right, all right. This is our promoter, Daryl DeVore. Just giving the rundown. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura Buck. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And Alex, he's got some fans. He's got some fans in the chat. Tiffany has some fans. All right, we're just getting some headsets on. There we go. All right. Um, yep. All right, all right. Now, this morning show, I don't know about you guys, but uh, you can't hear Daryl. No, you can't hear Daryl. He's not at the commentator's table. He's not at the media table. He's just introducing the show, uh, just really proud of the athletes, kind of letting the crowd know what the flow is like for people that aren't familiar with the way finals run. Um, introducing the judges to the crowd. I do not have a list of the judges, but I know we have um, Gladarius, we have Yenny from the OCB, we have um, a Josh from Kentucky, he's an NGA promoter, he is just doing head judge duties, he's not even actually judging, he's just calling the shots. Then we have Josh Stone King, he's a um, men's physique pro, he is one of our judges, and we have Chance Schwartz. She is a bikini model, pro, um, fitness model. Uh, she has a lot of experience judging. She trains clients. We also have a few other ladies. I think Christy might be judging down there. Um, just a really solid panel and <laughs> a large panel. A lot of judges. A lot of eyes on these athletes today. All right, are we ready to start the hmm. show? Let's do it. All right, and there's Ian. He's going to get ready and introduce everybody. Number seven. Michael Danforth. Michael Danforth. From Orlando. Yeah, we do have some great judges, Brandon. Triathlons? He said he used to do triathlons. Jeez. Nice. That's a big transition from uh, a sport like that to bodybuilding. Now this is something new that they're doing this year is staying within that white box that you see on the stage. Um, they used to traditionally do a tea walk where they would walk from the right to the left side of the stage and do a couple poses in the center, but we're trying to get away from that, and I really love that they're center stage, light is on them. They're showing the photographer their best shots. That was a great, great routine. So the, pretty much they're just staying in the center of the square now instead of just moving side to side. If I Correct. Look they, they can stay within the larger square, for ah, sure. I gotcha. He's got some excitement. He does. Interesting choice of music. Yeah. There we go.
There you go, Alex. Good routine. Definitely bring the energy right there. <laughs> or they're listening to Kid Rock, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Man, you guys weren't lying about this Ian guy. He's got a lot of personality out there in that scene. Just jokes for days. This is awesome. Can't take me. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Competitor number 86. We got Trevi Amanholian. Make some noise. Point to Yellow Florida. There we go. There we go. Now, I did get a chance to talk yeah. to him at check-ins. This is his first show. Yeah. He, yeah, he said he loves classic physique because of the posing. Yeah, he's doing amazing. Yes. His movements are so solid. Good for him. You know... He has a, a good future in this sport. He, look at the legs on him. Yeah. Great quad development. Great natural size in the whole nine yards for sure. He definitely looks like he's enjoying himself. Hey, Chris, I know what you found. You found the pro men's Okay. I'm putting this in our order so we give him a All right, all right, all right. Great routine. Oh, who do we have on deck? Number 107. We've got Lori McLeod. She is from the Isle of Man in UK. There we go. Moved to Florida when he was 15. From the UK? Wow, look at this guy's amazing looking. Looks like a younger competitor. I think he's like 24, 23 okay. or so. I already love it. I, I can't. I can't do it. Hello. Yep. All right. <laughs> Hello, Daryl Devore. Nice structure of abs. There you go in a good vacuum. Yeah. He's six foot two. It's a lot of muscle on a tall frame like that. Definitely so. Good for this guy. <laughs> Great job. All right. <laughs> I believe these guys have about like a minute or so on stage. Is that what the So routine? amateurs, yeah, amateurs get 60 seconds. The pros tomorrow, they will get 90. They will get 90 seconds. Oh. It's amazing what they can do with that extra 30 seconds on stage. Number 53 is Angel Oquendo. Wow. Yeah. Like he that. had a lot of uh, family in, uh, on the live stream watching. Like Did he? Okay. Yes. Do the routines count towards the final score? Actually, they don't. Not in the NGA. So they just get to go out here. All the scoring has been done. The judges' sheets have been handed in and tabulated. Now they are just out there having a good time putting on a show for you guys. Yeah, Angel is bringing awesome. it. And he got a good smile. Look at that guy. Definitely killing he it. He does. Whole package. He's the total package right there. I the charisma. They said this is a special uh, performance for him because he's dedicating his show to his father who passed away, and he wanted to see him compete again. Oh, so this man. is a special show for Angel. Very good. Go Angel. That does make it that much more special for him. All right. Now. We have Alana rooting for number 103. Who is 103? Oh, are they doing the awards right after the? Yes, they are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great, 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 great. Let's go back to the center stage here. There's five oh, of them, so they making India India proud. I love that. So fifth. 
fifth, fifth place. Place number. Was Brandon. Number seven. Michael Danforth. Michael, okay. All right. In third place. Take that over to competitor number 48, Alex Brzezinski. Alex, hey. he got third. I know you guys were rooting for him in the chat. This is a tougher decision now. In second place. Look at Alex. He is proud of Heck that. Heck yes. Let's go. And Angel takes the win. Awesome. Yeah, all right. Congratulations. Congratulations. The crowd. You guys hear this crowd? They are losing it. Gentlemen, congratulations on this accomplishment. You guys definitely killed it today. And Alex, I love your enthusiasm. Right. <laughs> really do, no matter what. Yes. And that's what it's all about, guys. It's about enjoying the entire process and appreciating everything that you've done up until this point. All right, just getting on that stage, you've already won. You've done the work. Absolutely. Aww. All right, we got some ladies. Next class. Novice Wellness. Tiffany Bria, number 61. Novice Wellness, 61. Did I hear she's from Miami? Miami. Yeah, she's a brand new <laughs> entrepreneur in the permanent makeup industry. All right. Oh, she's in the right place. Established in March this year, she said. All right. She's also a motivational speaker. Motivational speaking. All we right. We need many of those, right? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, good for her. My girl, Dakota. Let's go. It's always a good time with Dakota. Most yeah, she, fun. She's definitely very elegant up there. Absolutely. She's having fun. That's a good thing. That's what you got to do up there is have fun. She said her favorite <laughs> passion outside of competing is serving others. That's amazing. Pursuing my purpose and being outdoors, also known as Cookie Monster or Dakota Dance Party. Yeah. Love it. Everything, their makeup, their hair, their suits. Okay, it's number 65. Yeah, the, it the color on her suit looks amazing. That blue and the bedazzle. Definitely. Joanna. She said this bodybuilding got her out of a fitness rut. Okay. That's the truth for a lot of us, right? Right, because we have a target. We have an end line, yes. or an, an, a finish line. Something to keep us motivated. Yes. Good for her. Oh, the little swag. Good for her. And she specializes in uh, working with children with autism. Oh, wow. And spectrum ADHD. That's wow. so awesome. And a big heart. Absolutely. Jeez. All right, we're going to get some Good awards. All right. Victoria? This is her first show competing, and she's done very well today. Mm -hmm. She has done really well, and the one thing that stands out to me is just how comfortable and poised she is on stage for this her being time. her first time. And I'm telling you, when I say live audience, this place is packed all the way to the back of the room. This place is packed, for sure. 
so somebody on her team gets some good gets some credit. Right. Posing coach, somebody. It's and really put a lot of time yeah. into And herself. And you herself, know? yes. yes. And some people will go straight to YouTube University. <laughs> hey, you can actually learn a lot on YouTube, that's for sure. <laughs> but if any of you guys are ever considering this, I would definitely recommend getting a coach. Yes. yes. Oh, wow, okay. 65 has swag. Yes. I she love did. her name, Zurio. Zurio. Zurio, that's beautiful. She says she's only been bodybuilding for nine months. Wow. And she's going to, call, going to culinary school to become a private chef. That's an exciting, exciting career. All these ladies are killing it. They look amazing. <laughs> she's looking forward to having a Cinnabon role. Oh, she's my done. God. Those Cinnabons. <laughs> From Cinnabon. -y. Oh. You know, you can just buy just the center, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, just the cinnamon roll center, yes. I think that's all competitors' favorite thing to do is decide what's the first thing they're going to eat. Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is my number one interview question yesterday when I was asking them all, what is the first thing you are looking forward to eating? Absolutely. All right, so they're lining them up for some awards. All right. All right. All right, Zuriel. All right. I'm not going to lie to you, Sammy. I can't help but to now just think of Control the Jiggle from here on. <laughs> not any of these. No, well, let me, sp let me speak this into it. None of these ladies have that to worry about. No, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just in my head. I can't get that phrase out of my head now. Control the Jiggle. I'm happy a new T-shirt, hey. guys. We have Scott on the live stream. How are you, Scott? Woo. Oh, here we go. And then there was two. Oh, boy. Two very good competitors. Competitor number 142, Victoria McLean. All right. Hey. Dakota. You go, girl. Seven. Congratulations, Miss Cookie Monster slash Dance Party. Dance Party Dakota, yeah, is that what that's it was? what she called herself. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to see that later, though. Oh, the uh, after party maybe tomorrow. Right. Oh, hey. <laughs> um, what does she got, girl? Yeah, you know, please. you know what makes me happy, makes my heart happy, is seeing so many young athletes coming into the sport. Oh yeah. Um, hold on. Chris, this works. Get in there, brother. All right. There we go. Chris was doing some, he was doing some clerical work over there. Oh, He's yeah, very some studious. The scenes. Trying. Trying. <laughs> Getting us. Trying to help Sam as much as I could. Oh. All three of you helped me so much, so much. Oh. Okay, we go number 65. Oh. This is men's bodybuilding. Yes. We don't have all those. So we have, we have number six. And I'm st I think we're still in novice. That's uh, yep, novice men's bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I don't have him on here. Look at this guy. Great shot. God, look at his, look at that body. This guy is a scientist in the Navy. For the Navy. For the Navy in Panama City. Oof. And it looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks like he's worked this down to an art. He knows exactly what he's doing. Absolutely. Confidence uh, on the Are stage. you saying that he broke it down to a science? Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I told you Alan is on his feet. That's another one for Alan up <laughs> <Yes>. here, man. <laughs> it's all I care about, guys, punchlines. That's what I'm here for. That means your brain's working. That's all. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. He oh. looks like the mad scientist. I, I like it. Building it up, baby. Amazing job. There we go.
So, right, so if they've crossed over in doing multiple classes, they're just gonna pose one time. And then the second time they're in a class, they're just gonna come out, hit a pose, and, and yeah, head off Michael. stage. Sammy Joe, I know you really appreciate the square. Oh, girl, are you capturing. seeing this yes. live stream? <laughs> Do you remember? I remember the first year. Okay, so Robin has done this show two years in a row. The very first year she did it, she was walking so fast on the on the stage that I couldn't pan fast enough to get her, and I felt so bad because I knew she had family in Minnesota watching. I was like, I missed it, and that's why I have been um, a loud voice in natural bodybuilding, pushing for this box yes. center stage. You can see everything oh. right on spot. Makes it so much easier for photo ops and video. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for our little families at home watching. Thierry yeah. <laughs> Mbe. Thierry Mbe. Mr. I'm going to compete in every class today almost. Did he yeah. get better? Oh, he, hey, he seems to get tired. Yo, and, he changes, and he changes shorts. That's what it looks like. Oh, he ain't put a little sparkle on Oh, he got on a little it. sparkle on the shorts. Sparkle. He's got the sparkle on the shorts, guys. We got it finally. I mean, men, men need to bling too, you know? Yo, he's killing it today. <laughs> he's, my God. Him and his wife both. Wow, I just noticed that. Yeah. yeah. He got the bedazzled on the shorts. The bedazzle. The bedazzle. He said it, it might have worked for somebody else. Let's see if I can throw him on. No, too. he got yeah, it. He got it. He's killing it. He probably heard our commentary in the uh, in the time <laughs> off. It's like, I got him just make changes. So <laughs> good for this guy. His family heard it. They gave him the the. Yeah, listen, this is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. We heard. I know my dad's notorious for that. He's like, yo, you know, you have to do this. You have to do that. It's like, all right, dad, I got you. <laughs> Lamar Joseph. Woo. <laughs> he looks really wide. Good for him. Those lats look amazing on him. I'm a huge sucker for lats, guys. That's what I'm cool. trying to look for. This is what I love about so. the individual routines because when they're on the mandatory, it's so Woo. the pressure is on, you know. But at this time, they can really give you their personality. They can relax, be themselves. Is that Keith Lee? I know everyone knows the TikToker Keith Lee. Someone's gonna have to tag him in this because this, I think this is Keith Lee on the stage. Are you just serious? Like, I, I don't know who Keith Lee is. The TikTok reviewer. Oh, I don't, I don't watch TikTok, my man. Oh man, he's all over. No, no, I'm he sorry. looks just like that guy. Let's pull him up. Oh, does he? Say absolutely not. Yeah, keep Let's posing. Let's go. That's how you do it. You gotta love it when athletes want to stay out there. That's not him, though. <laughs> I they see where like, you it, see it, though. It, 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 I, I thought it was him, man. It looked just like him. <laughs> so apparently we got doppelgangers at a bodybuilding competition. Doppelgangers. Yeah? You watch The Flash, too? No. 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 I was about to say, I think I found the new best friend, guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The one on so Rory. I think he already uh, Rory, posed. you already posed? Yeah. Now, do you guys know that, are you allowed to pose again if you want? Like, are you done, like, a couple of routines? Nah. No? They want to keep the show moving. I'm not nah. going to lie to you. If I was me, I'd be doing a, I got another routine for this next song. Just I got another routine. Just got into a routine, right? right? That's what I'd be doing. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's go Chauncey. He, trying to get a, a dance on every song he's got. He'll have that uh, Eric Murphy spirit on him. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Eric, if you're watching, we love your performance, bro. Mr. Murph said he was going to call in. Where you at, Murph? Call in to the hotline. Uh, right? <laughs> Have we had anyone call in yet? Have you seen Eric on there, Not Sammy yet. Joe? Yo, I saw Chelsea. Eric Shelton earlier. I, uh... Obviously, I'm not a judge, but I expect Chauncey to do very well and then when they start placing. Let's go. Yep, 121. There you go. Don't make some noise. Oh, wow, he said. This is his first bodybuilding show. This is his first. Wow. How, how I love sway? classic bodybuilding. <laughs> He's Brazilian. Oh, Amazing. No. 139, Bryce. I'll take that one. That was my fault, guys. That's <laughs> all good. <laughs> this is 139. 139. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is his first show. I think this is who we were talking this about. This is what right? we're talking about. I don't think he's Brazilian, though. 
Move no, the third he's down. I like the choice of music too. Me too. I was just thinking that. I think good we'll get him. to see him again later for Men's Physique Assess. Yes, Men's Physique also. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah, he's bringing it. It's not good. always easy to pull. There you go. You know your body and know how to present that. He's killing it. So, for everyone in the comments, we're going to give. Bryce underscore Heartless09 on Instagram. So we have in front of us, Mr. Bryce Heartless. So I had a, a question about a pro card. Only, I have to look over the judges' sheets, but there needs to be five or more. I think it's five or more. Five or more in a class. But right now, these are novice classes, so there is no pro cards. Right. Those won't be awarded until we get to the open. Exactly. But we'll, it, we'll let you guys know. Yes, I will let you know when they're competing for that pro card. This is that classic novice. Yeah. Who you got? Whoever wins this I think division I, will never I got get I'm to do perform novice every again. Division you be novice. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got, I got, Mister. Uh, I'm competing in every division. Is that my guy from France? Yeah. Oh, he's bringing him back to France. It's gonna be hard. Oh, to absolutely. Okay. All right, all right. Good job, number six. This time is always such a nerve wrecking spot for me as a competitor. Oh. Wait to see how it shows up. Yeah. How it oh. turns out. Here's a big moment right here, guys. I, I think 42 two. will take it. One and two, one and two. Does the bedazzle do it? <laughs> all right. So it looks like the bedazzle right. did it. Bedazzle. Good so, yeah. Yo, I, we're gonna. I'm gonna credit the bedazzle uh, yeah. during the mid break <laughs> as the winner. There you go. And I'm not gonna mention the bedazzle anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so mention I, this big old medallion shining. Yes, yeah, sir. Where's the shirt? Great job. Let's huh? just hit one up here. Right there. Where we are in here. I just. I can look it on here. Someone choose to look on here. For you. <laughs> I wanted to see Give the class. Give us your favorite pose. There we go. Yeah. All right, all right. Great. I, uh, I expect him to win a couple of more, to be honest with you. Yeah, why not? I uh, love that. <laughs> that little fish there, good for him. Mm. So not going to take it. Sorry, here. Here we go. All right, we've got coming to the stage competitor number three. Christy Lewis. Hey, and you know, you know, Murph will call in tomorrow, right, Chris? That's when Murph will be calling in. That's when he'll have something to say. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't forget to give him the Here number. Ooh. That's what it looks like coming up next. What did yes. you guys do to these judges? She, she was just, like, she's the one that scared off all the other competitors. Oh, she's the only one that dipped. She was in the class yeah, of her own. class of her own. That's very brave to get up there. Oh, absolutely. That's right. Which only re-emphasizes a lot of these competitions, although they're competing against other people, the battle is more within yourself when you get up here. The amount of discipline, the amount of dedication, the courage to get up there absolutely. and just own it. All right, novice men's physique. I love this this brick brick hard Bruce. This nickname for him. Um, that was that was funny. Back from the other class. Spring Hill. 
Jeremy Smith. Number 40, Jeremy Smith. Who right. which I don't see anybody going on stage. That's a number Hold 40. On. Hold on. <laughs> We're on the walkie. I see the expediter I'll on the walkie talkie. Number 40, we're going on the 41. All Number right. 40, Let's go, Mr. Right. Fields. If Mr. Fields has any family watching, I need to know if we are related. <laughs> <laughs> got some Fields in your family? Oh, I got a whole lot of Fields. Half the family is Fields. Yeah. Oh, wow. I okay. love his shorts, by the way. I love the cheetah print and the whole nine yards. It, it's like a Lion King just wearing on the shorts. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that, that, that looks amazing. That I like does. his back pose. There you I'm go. The beard. Michael B. The, the beard Jordan, too. yeah. He said that that's what he gets confused for, which, you know, I can see it. I would, see, I would say the other Jordan. Yeah, my, uh, my, Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Michael Jordan. I, I, I got Trump turned for Michael B. Jordan once or twice, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think somebody was just flirting with me. <laughs> that might have been a misprint. They said it might have been a misprint. It was supposed to be Michael Jordan. Yeah, it definitely B. was. It says basketball, <laughs> too. Yeah. yeah. Adrian Rivera Leon. I like his confidence. He gets the X stance. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh -uh. that's one of my Another favorite poses right there. One of those right younger there. competitors, Sammy Jones. Everywhere. Aware of health and wellness. Good side pose. I like that. Like how, I how, old, how old is it on there? He said he, he turned 18, 18 in wow. six days. Big back. Wow. Let's go. Amazing. He just turned 18, May Oh, wait, we got Johnny Dawson in the comments. Oh, Johnny hey. Dangerous, Dangerous Jay. Hey, Dangerous Jay. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to get this um, kid Jet some chulas. Setter. Greetings from yeah. Europe. Yep. He's going to have to get some chulas. I think some chulas I think, look I think really that's part good of the process, though. We, we actually mentioned that in pre-judging. I think it was right after you walked away. The shorts, the way they fit, the yes. style of shorts, it really can... Well, it can enhance your physique or it can take away from your physique. Yeah. Okay, okay. Depending I, on what size you are. <laughs> Confidence, though. Number 63. Yeah. Condition is on point. Nice. He's that burger it just up did there. him lovely. He filled out nice. He said he's a member of the dad crew. Former triathlon finding a new way to push myself. Good for him. Diego Perillo. Yeah. I love all these multi-sport athletes. It's uh places an emphasis on training and how to treat your body, that's for sure. He's yes. looking good for Petersburg, Florida. Good job, brother. Good Doing for him. He's got a great smile. Look at that thing. All right, you got coming to the stage. Let's it's funny, I think everybody else is just like so like looking at this pose, look at this. I'm like, look at his shorts, look at his smile. Look at is this hair. the dancer? Oh, oh it's a move, some moves. The moves. There you go. Oh. Ah, you're there. Smooth. Ooh. Okay. Incorporating some of that dancing there you go. talent into that oh, routine. Great. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Let's go. Let's go. He's got a lot of good energy. I definitely expect him to play well. Team Rare Breed. Bringing that New York swag over here, huh? New York, man, tough about. Staten Island in the house. Staten. This is like a rare breed event, I swear. Yeah. Competitor number one, 16, Joseph that, that, okay. says, that says a lot for Daryl as a promoter, attracting those big teams. Yeah, this yeah, guy's looking really good. France? Come on. While Daryl's out of air, air, air reach, I'm going to explain how he's one of the best promoters I've seen in this organization. Uh -huh. In natural bodybuilding period, I've seen, let's say, a group Hello, each year, each year, each year. I've seen more value put into the show each year, each year. I've seen the, the input that he receives afterwards uh -huh. apply to the next year. I think he set a standard that everyone needs to um, keep up with. That's uh, Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Number 129, Suyash Gupta. I butchered that name probably, but look, it looks good all right. That's okay. I think he did too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, like we're saying, I appreciate the man bun on this man. He and the color of his shorts. I really do like that color. He says he's a techie with muscles. <laughs> Nine years of full commitment and discipline to keeping myself in the best shape. Good for him. Brian. Right. 
And we got Pat B cheering for Joe, number 116. Oh, from upstate New York, my boy Zach, man. He's a graphic design artist. Nice. Originally from New York, came to Florida to, no, 98? Oh, that's 128. I'm sorry, that's guys. 38. We got to get our lives together over here. Get your life together, man. Get our lives together on this live. Oh, he just did the uh, classic, right? Yeah, he just went back there and just switched his shorts. Physique, yeah. I like him in this class. He yeah. decided not to do a routine for this one. I like those shorts. <laughs> yeah, those shorts are looking amazing. I think it's the smoke color. Smoke. Bring the smoke. Bring the smoke. Chris, I think you got a pair of those smoke colored shoes. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> This is Kevin Gibson. I talked to him in Elder. This is his first show. He's just all enthusiastic about being here. Definitely a good vibe. You can always you can just feel the energy from him being on stage. So I want to ask, when you guys are at home and we're looking at these individuals, wh what's exciting? What, what are we looking for in the crowd? Say again, when we're doing it. When we're doing our individuals, you know, for the for the audience at home, what is it that excites us? What are we looking for? Definitely all the love when they're calling out our numbers. You know what I mean? That definitely is feeling good. And then when you do your individual routine, it's just definitely a good vibe overall. Okay. Oh, I'm doing the words. All right, top five. So we have Diego Perilla. Hold on here. Let me uh, get, get this. Mr. O'Neill. Top five. Yeah, I think that I think number one thirteen, Yanir, is gonna take this one, but we'll see. Or also one sixteen. So to the live audience, um, there was more than five guys in this category. So what they do is they pick the top five. Not everyone will get uh, awarded tonight. Hey, there's a novel idea. Not everybody wins. Yeah. <laughs> then that's a good thing. Okay, that's a great and, thing. Comments. and you want to know the truth. People always ask me. I have this huge trophy case at home, and they always ask me, Sammy, what's your favorite trophy? I go, honestly, it's the one I didn't win. There you go. Ooh. Because I wouldn't be the champion I was. I would have never had that fire lit to come back and prove what I could do. And I had the privilege hey, of tasting man. that cookie, too, you know, right. of not winning. Ooh, wait, guys. But still showing up. Hold up, there. Hold up, they're calling out the top two right now. Sorry, guys, we don't count the losses. We just tally up the wins. <laughs> ah, there we go. Staten there. Island motto. Oh, wow. Which means so, number hey. 116, Joseph O'Neill won this class. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. oh. So, my friends, I have a special guest behind us. Does anybody want to give him a seat at the table? Absolutely. <laughs> you moved quicker than Wow, they all jumped up. <laughs> he has to go. Come on over here. <laughs> all right, so we have, we have Kent Beerley joining us here. Congratulations to these guys. Look job, at that. Joseph. He looks great. He really does. Hello, hello. Hey, how's it going, Kevin? You know All who right. he favors to me, Sammy? He kind of looks like, um... There we okay. go. Yeah, yeah. Who does it remind uh, you of? He reminds me of her, her son. Her and her son both competed last year together. You have tons of people in here watching the live stream. Awesome. Her and her son. Oh, oh yeah, I do know who you're talking about. Uh, it's gonna come to me in a minute. You know it will. I she can't. she yes. comes in shredded. She won her pro card yes. the year that I won, and then she came in and won place third, I do think. Do you know the so? son's wife competed too that year? Oh yeah, it's it was yeah, like a whole family. Year. Yeah, we know oh, we're wow. kind of favors her son a little bit. <laughs> she, yeah, she, he did. So uh, we have Kent Beerley. He's the president of the ANBF. Uh, he is also a pro bodybuilder who will be competing tomorrow at the Florida Pro. Yeah. Uh, is that why I'm here? To, I, I got a show tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what Yoma told me. <laughs> Sammy, why are you surprising me like that? Well, newsflash. Newsflash. I thought I came down here just to work out and hang out and <laughs> eat some cookies. Eat some cookies, yeah. yeah. 
Hey, these cookies that are uh, sponsoring the show are amazing, by the way. You want to know the guy that makes the cookies? You know where he's from? Huh. New Jersey. Oh. So my wife was saying, you got to talk to the guy. Maybe you can get some of his stuff. Maybe they could ship him to the show in New right. Jersey in September. So he's I go up. She's like, no, just talk to him. So I'm like, you know, stupid me. Why not listen to my wife? I go up and talk to him. I said, you know, every year we have two big shows in New Jersey. I said, you know, like, where are you from? He says, New Jersey. <laughs> I'm like, what? Am I being set up? I thought I was being set up. Right. He's from Montclair. He says, you know, I always want to go back home. I, I don't really ever sell anything back home. So right. <laughs> right. he'll be at our show in September, September 23rd. AMBF Kings Cup American Championships, by the way. There we go. A shameless plug. Shameless plug right there. Well, <laughs> Sammy Joe so got me are. out of my room. I felt bad hanging out upstairs. I had a busy day today. Oh, Went I believe to the it. Gym, and that's about, to and that's about, and that's about, and that's about it. That's all yeah. I did. <laughs> I mean, is there really anything for us else to do other than go to the gym and the sport? <laughs> you know, I have to be honest. I used to not work out past Wednesday, the week of a show. Oh. And so now I'm kind of like. Who do we have on stage? She, I um, love this pink suit. Hold on, Ken. I didn't mean to She's cut cutting you me off. off. She no, does that all the time. I, I, no, it's all right, I don't Sammy Joe. Okay. I'm used to that. This is number 94. Get the Navis bikini Amanda up here. Arnold is her name. I, nope, nope. I just want to know because she's one of my Amanda favorites Arnold up there. Got off yeah, she already. looks good. Nice. She looks amazing. Nice shape. Nice suit. Oh, that is Amanda Arnold. She's got a little spunk. Just yeah. enough, right? Just yeah. Enough spunk. Yeah, there's a fine line there that some girls step over. Her name is Alicia Proud, competitor number 96. 96. I'm loving that last name. Yeah. Wow. She's, wow, she's really tall. Yeah, she's, she's got a, yeah, it's a different look. You get, <laughs> you get that tall person out there, and all of a sudden, it's like changes the game a little bit. Right, right. Mm -hmm. She said, part-time mermaid. Bananas make me gag. Lover of all things with four legs. <laughs> <laughs> Are mermaids real? I mean, clearly she's part a mermaid. Time. She's yeah, on the stage. Mermaid. She says she's a mermaid. <laughs> she identifies as a mermaid. You know what I mean? You know what's funny with with the taller women? Like, I get a lot of people come to me. They want to do shows, and they're like, "Well, I'm too tall to be a bikini." I said, "No, you you would stand out like crazy because you they got longer muscles. You show more muscle tone." Right. I said, yes. "You can't. Like, what would you do? F figure you'd be like seven feet tall if you had to put yeah. big heels on." Yeah. Well, she's got big yeah, she looks good. I mean, when you stand taller, you stand out naturally. Yeah, right? you, if so you're already the tallest person on stage, why why hide it? Exactly. Yeah. She's 5'11". Well, these girls all look good in this class. What amazing. class is this? Mm -hmm. What are we in here? This is novice bikini. Novice. So That's never won. Yeah, the never won before. Class yeah. are looking like pros up there. Yeah, looking good. That's the point, though, right? At athlete number 103, Alexis Christie. Yeah. But did you see those cookies, Robin? Which ones? I, I don't know. These fat ass Oh, yeah, I got bakes. two of those in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, what were the other ones? So she's a Florida native. Hairstylist for eight years. Eat this is her, that was her first show. Look at that audience. Yeah, they got a lot of nice athlete. packed it in here today. 123. All this music, She's a man. single mom of two. Good for Woo -woo her. For the mamas. Yeah. Business owner of 16 years. And she's currently enrolled in massage therapy. I wonder how many times she brings her kids to the gym. <laughs> it's hard when you have kids and you got to get all that time in the gym. Man, no excuses. She looked like, yeah, she, she, like sure. she didn't make any. This is athlete number 130, Casey Winters. Mm. Yeah, she's looking good, too. It's a good Definitely. class. Oh, she's a Muay Thai fighter. Oh, no. Oh, who decided to give bodybuilding a shot. Yeah, well, why not? Don't mess with her. Oh, man. <laughs> she's giving the uh, judges a look. Right? Oh, yes. <laughs> like, you better place me where I'm going to be placed. It's going to be, be a problem. Right? <laughs> I'm going to Muay Thai your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Muay Thai. Muay Thai. That's dangerous. Going up there, just looking all elegant, but then you can know you know that she can kick your ass. Yeah. Whatever. Right? <laughs> what a deadly combo. That suit is gorgeous. It is. Robin's saying, I don't know about you guys, but I can take her. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> 
that's why half of us left is so we don't have to get into fights. You right. know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, so if hope, we look like hope we can fight, that's half, yeah. that's half you the hope battle. the intimidation factor works. <laughs> right? Like, you don't know who you're messing with. Right. And the guy's like, mm, yeah, yeah, I guess I, I don't. That's why I hide during prep, because when I lean down, I just look too skinny and everybody picks on me, so I just stay home. Oh, no, Alfred. <laughs> Here we go, some awards. There you go. Top there we go. Five. All right, let's see. Who do you guys got? I'm thinking the the woman, well, either the pink or the green. I'll take the uh, ends. I'll I'm take Miss Amanda. Miss Amanda, that was out there. I think that's who I would take. Yeah, that's what it is. No. Fifth so who, place is number is the mermaid, Alicia Proud. Uh, the mermaid, yes. How does a mermaid grow legs? The amphibious? <laughs> yeah. Like a tadpole. Fourth place is number oh, one, yeah, three, zero, so Chrissy Witter. So, so we got the green okay. and the pink Chrissy still Witter, in it. Sorry. What do we what do we got on this? We got money to we got, money we got got a drink. Green and the pink. Those are my choices. It's my exacta. I'm gonna box that. Two dollar exacta box. Oh, I lost. Christie. Oh man, I just lost go. two bucks. <laughs> Damn. Which is a lot because there isn't very much money in natural body building and also in inflation. <laughs> inflation. Two bucks is uh, two bucks half is a monster. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it is half a monster now. That's sad. Oh, well, at least oh, I got the winner. Let's go. There we go. Yeah. Number 93 has a very Amanda unique suit. Arnold. I love that. Good for her. Look how shiny those, all those suits are. Oh, right? I love it. We were just talking about how much uh, I'm going to bedazzle my next pair of shorts when I go up there next time. <laughs> I think you should do it too, Ken. You, know? you look like a buoy out in the middle of the ocean. That's the point. <laughs> Nobody's going to miss you. <laughs> Maybe I'll float my way to the wind, you know? Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, she's good. Yeah. Nice look. Look at how much bling those earrings have, too. Jeez. Great job. You know, why can't... You know what, Chris? You gotta I, want, shine. I, I feel like we should be able to wear some bling when we go up on stage, you know? So, some rocks. You know, he's, he's from California. Just put up. Just say, yeah, you're right. Yeah, just let me have, man. Just let me have my own flair when I got it. You know what I mean? <laughs> three, there's 3,000 miles different over there. <laughs> Apparently, that's the jewelry that gets <laughs> lost in the middle of that, huh? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't know. I didn't know men on the East Coast don't wear jewelry. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you never know what you're going to get with Ian. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, what? <laughs> All right, so the, the MC was like, one girl is better than five guys. <laughs> Maybe not when it comes to hamburgers. Man, I must be hungry, though, too. Five Guys hamburgers is exactly what's on my mind oh, right man. now. Oh, you, I can't. There. Me and Kent, we're competing tomorrow. Right. We don't want to hear about food. Man, let me tell you how <laughs> delicious these Five Guys burgers are, though. Okay. All right? They're, uh, you can have anything on them, you know what I mean? Look at the superstar. <laughs> We got, we got the superstar in. That's okay. Keep your focus. Oh, I'm what's up? It's Keith over here. All right. Uh, what do we got next? What's next? What do we have next? You going to jump on with us, Keith? Yeah. Is there anything to drink around here? That okay. That's a microphone right there. Oh, what up, what up, we got Keith Showtime here. Yeah, I gotta be close Does to Sammy it. Joe have any drinks for the talent? Or what? Yeah. Back here. Yeah. Is there a nice chest or something? All right, right guys. There. We are joined by Mr. Showtime. Showtime Key. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? Oh, you got to get closer to the mic, like right next to it. What's up? What's up? What's up, man? What's up? There guys? you go. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to get really close to that thing. You got to make get close. You got to make close. love to that thing I'm almost. You know it. what I mean? I'm going to get up on it. All right, <laughs> <laughs> All right Keith. I, uh, I see a couple of your athletes running around and. See you with your presence around. How are you thinking about this event so far? Oh man, this is this is an iconic show. Uh, me and Rob is it's one of the, one of those special ones to us because this is pretty much where we made our pro debut at. So this is always uh, a special place for us um, in this type of show. So uh, we always nice to come back and support as much as we can and, um, and and bring our athletes. And I got a couple pro debuts myself, so that that always is pretty special to me to have. All right, them go through the same journey that I did. That's cool. That's cool. So how is it? 
How is it for you to like walk around? You got your little poster board on there. People are like, oh, you're that guy on that poster. Yeah, yeah. So how's that? How's that been? Not gonna lie, man. It's, a, it's always a special moment. It's almost an out of body experience. Um, anytime I'm at this show, uh, just because it's the home show, it's the homecoming show for me. Um, and, and I always got I always feel the love when I'm here. So I'm just blessed to be a part of it, and I'm um, always feel great just to be back to come back. So it's a nice rejuvenating show, like whatever you got going on, it's, it's a nice show to come back to. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And for all of you guys that aren't here, everywhere Showtime Keith goes, is oh, that's Showtime. Oh, that's Showtime. Let me get a picture. Showtime Let me get a picture. Five. Showtime at five, right? Yeah. I have heard Showtime way more than I've even heard anything else they, this entire show. We'll just say. It is show day, so they may be saying it. Is just, show. So they might just be saying it because it's their time to go on stage. Right. It may not always be about me, but it, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing, man. It's, it's, it's something that I, I take a lot of pride in because uh, I put a lot of work. In, uh, in, in in competition. I've been in many stages around the world, so it just, it's just an honor to come back and just um, be blessed. So I just always have fun when I come back. I'm just glad I'm here with Robin. Right. I mean, man, yeah. we, we, came, we both came here together yeah. uh, to come through this and we to come back. We both in our thick season. I know, we yeah, yeah. We both, we both, I, I, we haven't seen each other in a while. Like, yeah, look at them shoulders. Look at those shoulders. <laughs> look at them legs. <laughs> So it's always nice to come back and see you, to see your competitors, see your friends, men in the offseason, just and just enjoying life and uh, and coming back and giving back to the sport. Right. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. But you know what? Tomorrow, tomorrow's men's physique lineup is going to be brutal. Yeah. Mm. Who, uh, if, if if I'm not going to, I'm going to put you Johnny on the spot, Keith. If you had to pick three <laughs> athletes God. that you that you expect to perform absolutely well, what what three athletes would they be? I'm going to plead the fifth. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. Fifth, man. I, I will pay respect to the ones that've been putting the work in, because you, you gotta you gotta put respect to those ones that that been grinding and and that proven themselves on the stage. You got a lot of upcoming pros that is gonna make a lot of noise, and you never know how the judges is gonna fall. But I mean, I got two of my guys. Stuff I said they pro debut. I got Mad Dog and Corey Ball. I'm, I'm expecting to make a, a huge splash tomorrow in, um, in the pro lineup. But then you got those those, those seasoned guys that've been putting the work in. They've been they've been really showing out uh, for the industry and giving back to the sport as well. Um, but you also have you have Court Killer that just won the Yorton, um, and that, that, that came in third with your show last year. Yeah. So if you, if you had to put somebody that been been to the show, you would have to put him up there because yeah. he 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 came um, third right behind me and Mar me and uh, Marcus. Um, and then Top you got, five easy. Yeah. So and then you got you got Natty Norris that that two time Miss America. You can never count that guy. He's one of the best. I mean, he's been in the sport for a very long time, a very long time. So. But that guy coming, and then he also competed in NGA. That's one thing about when you compete in a league and you already been scored in that league, you kind of have an idea that they kind of like my physique if you already won those type of shows. Uh, you could go somewhere and not know if they like your physique or not. Yeah. But that's one, that's one thing about these type of shows that you – This I, what I love about the show the most, um, besides those two guys I want to put out, I want to put one more name before I, before I talk about what I like about the show the most. I want to put Anderson out there. Anderson's one of them guys. I literally think I've been on stage with Anderson every show. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's probably one show I haven't stepped on stage with Anderson ain't with. Shoot, I, I was on the stage even when it was just me, him, um, and Murph and another guy at, at AMBF Tampa last year. I was on stage. Yeah. This guy, Murph comes, shows, this guy shows goes up. everywhere. Anderson goes Anderson literally everywhere. So you got Anderson here. I, I have you always got to pay respect to those guys because they put the work in it. Um, but one thing I like about this show that I mentioned yesterday is that this show is a checkmark show. So you're going to have a lot of guys that season pros are going to have a lot of guys that are making their pro debut. And it's going to be a lot, a, lot, a lot of guys like to come here early just to see where they line up at. Can they line up?
15 is like that's just that's just right there. It's just right there. Yeah. Being that top, the next top pro. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. I can only imagine. I would not want to be on the judging panel. That's all I gotta yeah, say. Yeah, no, yeah. no. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for having me, man. Absolutely. I'm gonna let y'all do y'all thing. I just want to come by and chat, and I'll see y'all later. Up. All right, thank you. No problem. Yes, sir. That is Mr. Showtime, Keith. Oh, yeah. See ya. If you know about natural bodybuilding, you already know about this gentleman right there, obviously. Ken, you're a promoter. You know how this goes. How, all the stuff that happens behind the scenes and the production of all this stuff. Oh, my goodness. How do you do it? <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. I mean, we just came off our, our highlight show of the year a couple weeks ago. And, you know, and it's... When you're involved, you know, so much preparation, and then show day's there, and then you gotta worry about the tanner, you gotta worry about the, oh you know, God. the venue, do they have all, everything set up right? And then at our show in, in Asbury Park, New Jersey, I, I'm, I'm the MC. So oh. then it's like, then you rely on your other people, because I, I feel like I, I can control the flow of the show right. when I'm on stage and the DJ's right next to me, so basically, you could see stuff going on. If something's going on, then somebody will come up to me and they'll talk to me. And and I wish I'd be able to. I'm not. I'm a control freak. Oh, I'm yeah. not. I don't want to just give the reins to somebody else and say, "Hey, do this, do that." So I kind of like if something's going on, they come to me. Right. I'm trying to build up people that I can rely on. There but you it's, yeah, we're a small group. We're like a carnival. You know, we're just, just we go so from place to place parts. to place. You know, like when we had Daryl on my my King's Court a few weeks ago, and um, we talked to him. I said, you know. He says, you're lucky. He says, I'm, he says, he was lucky that one show a year, you got all year to prepare for it. Like every week we we pack up, we're like, okay, where are we going next? Right. And I'm, I'm like a carny, you know, like I'm There's going, I'm a carnival. Up. There's an a &B show. So it, it's, it's just, as the years go on, and it's our 10th year now already, and I'm wow. like still waiting. I have some people that really are good at helping, but then yeah, they come and go, you know? Yeah. You, you, it's hard to read. It's hard to rely on certain people. So after a while, you're just like, wow, I'm just going to do it myself and just find the people that want to be more involved. Absolutely. Because so we're, we're still small. Even though 10 years, we're still a small organization. Yeah. But yeah, it's tough. Show day, if it works, show don't day break is tough. It, right? don't fix like, it. like I saw Daryl outside before coming in here, and he's like, the, the, the color guard never showed up. He says, oh, you told me the 10th. He's like, I didn't tell you the 10th. Oh, man. Why would I tell you right. the 10th? So that's why the, the, I guess there was no color guard. I wish they would have told me. I would have just went up there and sung the national anthem for everybody. Yeah, you know what I mean? Good, yeah. I think I could do it. <coughs> but yeah. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> what I... Uh, <laughs> I think we're getting ready to get some. Hey, uh, hey Ken, if you need someone to speak the uh, sing the national anthem for your show, I got you, man. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, we got some wings or something coming. That's some bikini model coming on. Yeah. Is that what is that what these uh, freestyles are? Look at this. Yeah. Um. Shoot. So, who's man in this? Oh yeah. We're there we go. Fun part of the show. Let me know. Oh, here. Oh, that's a beautiful costume. Let me know if you guys can see it. I don't know how to work this thing, to be honest with you guys. Is this how you... Where is it supposed to be? It, it... We need to be seeing it on that screen. Oh, on the... On the... Can you see it on here? Yeah. Well, that's behind. That one, the laptop's behind. Oh no, maybe it's not. Can you look at the channel? There's a delay on the laptop. Yeah, they're still seeing us on the live. Uh, okay, guys. Well, as long as we look good, that's really all that matters. <laughs> Hopefully, that changed that one. Oh, oh, look. Uh oh. There is a delay. Bear with us, folks. Oh, these are amazing outfits, too. I'm sorry if I'm not, not working on this one correctly, guys. We have a little red riding hood up there. Oh, she's got the howls and everything going. Let me know, Chad, if you guys can see the stage, please let me know I'm working on this. Woohoo! Yeah, there's there the stage now. There we go. Good job. Woohoo! We there had a little bit. Go. Oh, oh, we have a. Oh, like, look at this. Little Red Riding Hood, yeah, like you said. Oh. 
I like that. That is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. She didn't even have to walk out. That was the big bad war. I wasn't expecting that. People like one of the power of the Um going on to competitor number 94, Amanda Arnold. You already see her out here. Show us what you got, girl. There's Amanda Arnold right now. Those wings look amazing. You can definitely tell she didn't wing this outfit, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> definitely playing. I'm gonna tally up all your scores on this album, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Seriously, she's killing it though. I think the one thing I definitely Let's admire go. more about anybody else sometimes is their stage presence when they get on here. That's got to be hard to do that do your so, performance with those wings. Do bikini artists usually, or bikini athletes usually come out in costumes and things like that, or? No, this is just a different category. Bikini yeah, this model. is the category. This is the bikini okay. model. Okay. Yeah. And again, look at all the bedazzle that's on their things. I think that's a highlight of winning. All right, you guys are gonna be hearing from our head judge. Josh Miller. Please walk to the front line. Oh, I'm smelling some coffee. <laughs> nice. A little red riding hood? That uh -huh. is little red. It is. And you there's also it. There the was big a there's a wolf somewhere too. He carried her off. Face the back. So well, this is the actual live judging. Show us your best model walk to the back. Model wall walk to the back. I thought Tiff would say it was, oh, this is, uh, I forget, it's tomorrow. <laughs> She's bro. I'm, I'm, these girls are bringing it. I'm Ooh, that's like the little thinking I was watching the pro the show. thing, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I really like that. Number 94. A little swag. Best model walk to the back. Hey Robin, if you were in this, what what would what costume do you think you would wear? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> like a Disney princess or something like that, maybe. Something like that, something probably. Like that? <laughs> I feel like I would. I, don't I would know. definitely have some big old wings. Big old wings. <laughs> 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 you know, to match my other ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Chris, what, what what costume would you do if you were on here, Chris? Gladiator. Gladiator. Oh. Very fitting. Russell Crowe. Nice. This is not why you are here. Get the abs for it. Are you not entertained? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, and Chris got the arms for it, too. He showed him a check-in. It's just arms are just popping out of his T-shirt. I T -shirt. was cracking up. Like, damn, Chris, why are you wearing my shirt, Chris? Like, holy <laughs> crap. Alan goes, I didn't know that guy's arms were that big. Yeah, that's literally <laughs> what I said. I just wore a smaller shirt. It was a gym shirt. Yeah, just, he just. <laughs> <laughs> he's, wearing, he's wearing that medium. Yeah, no, he's like, I'm going to win the, the competition at check-in, guys. <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> Try to intimidate. I really like the, the middle girl's costume of all three. Uh, you know what? I'll take the wings. Yeah, I'm thinking wings, I'm too. I'm thinking wings. Yeah. But the Little Red Riding Hood, like, these are all looked amazing, though. I can't really single one out to the other. Mm. What I love is that they're in character, too. Like, you feel that that's who they are. Mm -hmm. Gotta own it. Yeah. Go. Oh, this is live judging. This is challenging. Yeah, this one's challenging. They gotta come with a decision now. 
I, I'm going to go with wings, guys. I have a one in three chance. You go with wings. You've been kind of close right. lately. In third place. What do you guys got in the crowd? Yeah. Oh, Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, wow. She did well. I, I love the Big Bad Wolf. In second place. All right, guys. Wings it is. Wings it is. So, Swole Migo TV, I believe that the novice men's physique has already been awarded. The yeah. novice men's physique has novice already been awarded. Has, so, the open has not been done yet. So, the opens Swole are going to be last. Swole the Migo. opens are going to be last. Yeah, that yeah, is correct. So, you didn't miss the open yet, sir. Alexa, or Alana said Alexis Christie is a goddess. Let's go. <laughs> These ladies are all looking amazing. You called it. I did. The wings. Oh, did you see that? She was going to help her put her crown, her hair over. Oh. Her the hair for a second. She's already got one oh, up watch there. Out, kids. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Is this? this is okay. the novice Masters. wellness. Novice. She's the only competitor. Wellness. And she scared off the other girls for novice wellness. Oh, her and uh, her, her, that was her husband, husband that just won the yeah. last show, yeah. The last division, I'm sorry. She's, she's getting from, ready to come back out again, too. She's from France? France. Why not? See? Oui. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. That's about all I know, guys. Look at that. Just got to give a shout out to the promoter for having someone come from from France. France. Very impressive. You know, that's what I like about this event, actually. There's a lot of athletes from everywhere around the country and other countries, which is pretty unique. She brings this swag from France. So it's amazing. We also have Kent here. Kent runs another organization, and his organization is branching as well. I've seen a lot of new competitors popping up at each show. Nice. I know y'all better stay away from the Nationals if y'all y'all trying to win. <laughs> How long to the Open, guys? What do we got? How's everybody? It's not going to be long, sir. This is going pretty quickly. I'm not sure exactly when. On the lineup, Chris, when is the men's? Do you have the lineup for when the open men's open is going to be? The men's open is going to be pretty much last. Okay. So that last block is going to go wellness, men's open bodybuilding, women's open physique, classic got, uh, physique open, women's figure open, and then men's so we got, got a, a while. while. So while Migo. you're tuned in, send us a couple likes, send us a couple comments, tag a friend, tell them to tag a friend. Yeah. Absolutely. And there goes the other phenomenon there goes from France. Yeah, there's the other and, yeah, and look, he doesn't even have to pose, and he's still posing. And he changes trunks again. Good for okay. this gentleman. I'm, not, I'm gonna warn you though, he didn't have the bedazzle on there. I don't know. He might have severed this his chances <laughs> to win this one. <laughs> I'm just saying. His bodybuilding. Novice bodybuilding. This gentleman is killing it. Like I said, if you're going to come all the way from France, you might as well get your stage time. You know what might I'm saying? That's well. a long way. Numbers 117, Cedric Vonner. All right. He let the dreads down for the individual Oh, that's routine. right. He had him. Good for him. Let's go. Woo! Good for this guy. I honestly, Chris, I can see him in physique, to be honest with you. Yeah, I definitely see him in men's physique. Absolutely. With that being, with that being said, uh, Cedric, I hope I don't have to compete against you ever. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> you look amazing, though, my man. You said you could, just don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got, I got one, yeah. 
gotta play, we gotta put I Robin got, on a board for I once. I got Alan <laughs> cracking up. Score. Oh my god. <laughs> if you guys can tell, that's the theme with Alan right now. If I compete against you and you're good, I don't want to compete against you. That's it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely good for this man. Yes, this is um yes, uh Dustin. This that was we're in the novice men's bodybuilding. Yeah. Yeah, this is amazing. Look at how this guy looks. Yeah. Antoinette said, let's go, babe. This is what I love about this guy, too. Like I said in the interviews, he only dieted for six weeks to get ready, which means he's usually like this year round. Wow. You know, that's yeah, pretty amazing. Yeah, when you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, huh? That's true. <laughs> that's, true. <laughs> that's true. When I when I was younger, I would diet like four weeks, five weeks, six weeks. Oh Not now. Now it's like <laughs> taking me all year. <laughs> <laughs> but you always show up, man, Ken, with that conditioning on point. Well, that's we'll sure. see. That is not easy for us the older we get. Trust uh, me. Good for this guy. Good for him. Which only proves to you guys you can still build muscle naturally. Hey, so Jane, but a number. Great job. Jimmy Bucket would be proud. Here we go. Jimmy Bucket. Yeah, look at those. Look at how big those backs are. Yeah. Yeah, good job, Bradley. Let's go, Bradley. Cedric Bonner. All right. Oh, France is cleaning up today. Looks like they're trying to take everything out of Florida today. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna have to pay extra for their luggage. Yeah, yeah. yeah those, those. I had to do Ooh. that hold my on, first on. year. Kent's on the board, man. My first year coming over here, I had to check my first bag ever. Oh wow. Zero right, sent me home with two swords. I tried to go through customs with that. Let's go yeah. through the like, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a woman with two swords in her luggage. Right, right. They were like, what is Keep what, an eye what on this her. for? <laughs> Keep an eye on that lady. They had the nerd that said, you're going to have to leave these or go check it. I'm like, well, I'll be checking it, taking a later flight. I ain't leaving my swords. Right. <laughs> Johnny Dotson said, what's up, Kent? Hey, big Johnny. <laughs> when are you going to stop playing uh, military man and get back on stage? <laughs> I know, you're I, late. I, yeah, <laughs> you're on. You're on. You're delayed, Sam. Delayed, Sam. Michael Danforth, who is starting to become one of my favorite people on stage, just because oh, he's yeah. a, such a great energy man. Look at that great smile in the whole yes. nine yards. Yeah, we answered that. I'm on it. Come on, Sam. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> Number ninety-two, Ben Larson. Let's go, is that Ben. The that is the doctor. Oh, look at his a little walk of swag. Look at I mean, come on. I'm trying to tell you, I, I cannot stop seeing Rocky Five on. Is this firing you up, <laughs> Ken? In a minute, <laughs> respect. All due respect. I see is it firing me up? Is it firing no, you up? No, you know what? It's, it's making me, it's making me tired because I know how I'm gonna feel tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna be like, man. oh man, I'm gonna be exhausted. Gosh, so you're doing bodybuilding, right? Because you guys gotta pose so hard. God, you know, you know the one oh, thing tomorrow. The, the one thing that I'm dreading is that I have to be on stage at nine o'clock. Oh. Yeah, you know, I, I, I can't even work out in the morning. I'm, so, I gotta. It takes me like hours for my body to not hurt. Michael ben? April said, "What's up, Kent and Sammy?" That is hey, killing Mike. this routine so far. This. Good Let's go. Yeah, I'm a I'm a one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> workout person. The, the, the whole nine. That means I gotta get up at like three o'clock to eat. I think you appreciate that for your shows too, don't you? 
Yeah. You're gonna start a little later. I yeah, appreciate I, that. You no, know, it, it it doesn't make the morning as rushed. And people, you don't have to be there at four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning to tan. You don't right. have to do all that stuff. You show up at eight, nine, ten o'clock, tan. Get on stage at twelve. Get over with, right? And they do the you know straight through format. We get out of there. Is Everybody can go eat. This is athlete number one thirty one, Mike Kill. Big Ben. Philip said, What's up, Chris? Can't wait to see you compete tomorrow. You, you got a fan, right, Chris. Wait. Chris, you got a fan. I got a fan. Yeah. Mr. Bird, I can't wait to get out there tomorrow, also. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. These are all good? This guy looks great. Does look amazing. Mike, you are killing it very well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got good muscularity. Definitely. Good midsection. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Number 144, Joseph Angley, good for him. Oh, this Boston, Boston man. He has the best individual song so far. <laughs> oh, he is having a good time. I think Ian's cracking him up up there. Yeah. Well, let's go. That is awesome. 64. I'm on. I'll be 60 in July. I don't know if I'm still going to be doing it at 64. You got at least five more years, Ken. Come on. Bring it on. 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 They're, mi they're missing one. Oh, he's no, on the they're end. Not. Yeah, he's, I couldn't see him. <laughs> Loving the energy of the trophy girls. They're like, yay. <laughs> Love Ian. Good friend. Definitely one of my favorite people here. Michael Danforth. I'm gonna take Mr. Ben Larson here to to, to win. All right. In second place, take that over to competitor number 131, Mikey Keel. So that means oh. a winner for tonight. You've got an eye. Just, just to let you guys know, I, uh, I used to live in Vegas, so I know about these odds. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are welcome. This is that what it is? You keep going on FanDuel or something? Yeah, yeah, you? exactly right. <laughs> they, they have this on there, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's so impressive is how much muscle he has, the winner. Oh, and absolutely. So yeah, he's got, he's got a good shape. Yeah, he's yeah. pretty filled out. Great job. Let's get one with just Ben up there. Thank you, fellas. Ben doesn't look a day over 25, though. <laughs> I swear, yeah, this looks amazing. It's so the bad. hair. Is it the hair? It's the hair. <laughs> I love the hair. And the award of the pro card. And in this story, Hey, first pro card of the night. There you go, guys. There's the first pro card. First pro card of the night. I love it. He looks pro ready. Good for him. So he is pro qualified. Let's go. That's one of those things, you know, I, I actually learned last weekend that I kind of forgot about, but 
you know, you get your pro card. Oh, I'm pro now. And then when it, it came out that my girl, Courtney Spray, put it in perspective. She says, no, you're not a pro till you step on that pro stage. That's right. And can be pro. You're pro qualified. That's There's a, a difference. I've uh, so I've heard that multiple times now. Yeah. You can choose to keep competing amateur if you like. Well, you know, but you gotta get on that pro stage. The thing, the thing about that too, so many people get their pro cards and they never, you never yeah. see them again. Yeah, they're like, right. they're like, they're like, I, like I what happened to them? <laughs> yeah. like, it's why, not why, a ticket out. You know, yeah, why, why <laughs> bust your butt to get a pro card and then you, you I'm gonna train for three years, so mm. I'm ready. Uh, mm. Like, no, you're what, pro now. Get your you ass on the stage. What are these gentlemen doing right now? They're having an overall. Oh. Have my money on France. I think it was a uh, weight class. Oh. So. This is uh. I so each class winner gets. Oh no, because yeah. No, overall. Oh, I guess his class wasn't. Pro qualified. No, maybe it wasn't enough people. You have to have five or more. Yeah. Yep. So now, if he wins the overall, does he get his pro card? I wonder. I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If he beat a pro pro card winner, then he should be a pro. Hey, pro. Take his pro card. Yes. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> sorry, dude. That's mine. <laughs> oh take my it God. back. No. <laughs> no take backs. Jay well, well, that Jay would only make sense, that. right? J3 said, yeah, I like that you're not a pro until you step on a pro stage. You got to prove it, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And it doesn't matter where you place. Once you compete pro, you're a pro. All right. We got a live judge in here. Judge off. I don't know, guys. Who you got in the comments? That's what I'm looking at. Oh, you're talking to the people in the comments. Right? <laughs> I want to see what they got. Excuse me. In the comments, yeah. I don't know, I'm thinking the, the good doctor. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take him back. I've been, I've been rolling with him. He's got, got a lot of muscle for a taller guy. Yeah. This is when that stage posing conditioning comes in. Got to fight for it. Ooh. That's there a good go. shot for France. Oh, That's a really mm -hmm. good, good shot. You just put the pose down, music up. 30 seconds, pose down. All right, fellas, let's get it. Here we go. We got to pose down. Our face. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, who do you want it to be? Shout out to the other fellas. Move around the stage. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. 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 So a pose down is pretty much like 30 seconds of them just posing the entire way through pretty much. Yep. Yeah, it much? basically gives the judges a chance to total up their scores. And, uh, I gotcha, I gotcha. That's it's a good delay tactic. Oh, it's a delay tactic. We need a little extra time. The crowd's like, it, it is entertaining when you get like a bunch of, like at the Mr. Merger, you have whatever, 20, something, whatever, oh, how many, that, you know, yeah. you do the pose down with 16 to 20 guys. It becomes a little more entertaining. <laughs> I get it. I get Let's it. Let's go. Vacuuming. There you go. This is more like a challenge. Can't you it's got like a pretty mean You vacuum. really got it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like this is the fight right here. Battle of the fittest. What do you got on this one, Chris? I'm going France, guys. France? I'm yeah. sticking to France, too. <laughs> I, I'm so, three for three so far, guys. It's well let you know. I, at the table, are we split? I think we're split. I think it's you and I with France. And okay, it's a two and two at the table. France, it's three. Yeah, I'm thinking the, oh. the, the good doctor. The oh. good doctor? Okay. Oh, it's three to one. Oh, no, it's three to one. I'm sure it's pretty close. It is really close. So, Ken, when you're saying the good doctor, what's the what's the strong point pushing you that way? Well, I, I just think he's got a lot of upper body muscle, and, uh, which is unusual for a taller guy. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the France's midsection is better. But shoulder-wise and chest-wise, leg-wise. He looks lacking. And, awesome. and then his back, the good doctor, I believe, got a better back. Yeah. He's got nice proportions, for sure. Symmetry. Ooh, here we go. I mean, the mid you know, it all depends. His midsection's some, some pretty tight, too. Yeah, some judges are just all about the midsection, but. Yeah. Oh, you know, right, you guys. go for that GQ look. Well, the good doctor's about got to the make GQ look. Right, guys. Let's see. He's older, too. That's a flex. Yeah. All right. It's got better hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's gonna take the winner's circle? Oh, how are we hearing it on my phone? Overall champion. 
is competitor number 42, the oh. So oh, now he's look at the camaraderie. I so love he's got to bring back his pro card and give it to him, then, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Could oh, you he imagine gets, if that happened? He's yeah, a he, pro he, card winner too. Look at him! Oh, I love when it's like that. This That's is, genuine gratitude. Gotta love this guy. Oh, oh yeah! Awesome. Hey. He showed out today for and sure. You know Daryl lives for being able to award him these things, man. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my gosh. Let's go, friends. All the way from France. One, I think that's going to be a nice flight three. home. <laughs> they came to teach everybody French. Definitely, definitely. My God. Let's go, we, 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 we. So now Daryl's got to go tell the other guy he lost his profile. <laughs> Dude, I'm I know sorry. it's been amazing to here with these guys cracking up. Oh, my it's God. Definitely. Definitely. Alan's up on the jokes. Um, he's winning today. <laughs> he is. And Big Kent. He's ahead of the game. Ooh. We the women. All right, figure. we got the novice women's figure. She's a mom, a nurse, and a combat veteran. Twenty-nine years of service. Number thirty-seven, Angie Powers. Thirty-seven. Yes, a mom and a nurse and a combat veteran oh. for over 20 years. Wow. Let's go. She wants to thank her coach, Ryan Sullivan, and her team members at Cy Unison Fitness and her son, Sam. Represent for the mamas. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in. Is that okay? Hey, I'm going to jump in. You want... You want my spot? I gotta, okay. I gotta I leave. To oh, okay. We want to give a big shout out to one of our sponsors, Old School Bodybuilding Clothing. Hey, hey, everybody, There's Sammy Joe here. Make some noise. I saw Go Michael. Old I Michael saw said that hi. Michael yeah. April. It's so funny. I just saw him in Staten Island when I was there. Yeah, we ran into him. <laughs> They're doing a great job. Great. And this she beautiful still wants woman to walk. is 48. Get it, girl. And she wants to thank her coach, Fong Tran. Oh, no. I'll yeah. fix that. I'll fix that. Which. Miss, that's the other half of that's, France. Yeah. Her son gave her facts about Florida every single day to encourage and uplift her along the way of her bodybuilding journey. <laughs> awesome. Kids can be sweet sometimes, huh? <laughs> yeah, you just hope there's more good than bad. Right. <laughs> Sorry about that, Gene Brown. Sometimes there's some technical difficulties.
Bateman Bay. That's Little Red Riding Hood. Master Hood. figure, yes it is. Master figure over 40. Is that a pro master? There's five of them, right? There should be. I think it might, might be novice. Oh, this is novice? I believe so. Uh, I think no, I thought they were all Nope, no it's not, no it's plus. not. Nope, yep, this is a pro car winner. <laughs> Masters women. Oh, yes, Masters. There we go. Masters women, yep. Sorry, Masters women figure. I think she can definitely hang with the Masters. Yeah. Masters pros for sure. The open class? I believe so. This is master classic. Masters class. Master physique. Classic, I'm sorry. Classic physique. Classic physique. Johnny is enjoying this performance.
Ronald, which, which competitor are you asking about? Up right. I'm back. This music is jamming. DJ Ruckus. So All right, he's always been physique. Yeah. And every time I would tell him, when I hand him his trophy, I'm like, dude, you need to be classic. It oh. took him like two, three years to friggin' so how you think he's doing now yeah. he's in his proper class now <laughs> he's killing it yeah he's yeah. done quite a few a and bf shows and he looks like he's having a great time up there in classic yeah i think he was just at your show wasn't he yeah i saw that and his mic is off oh. you cut me off sam oh, <laughs> did you do that on purpose <laughs> <laughs> i didn't say anything bad Yeah, he had switched coaches, and I guess that you know you learn, you know. Then I guess the new coach he's with Rare Breed now, and I guess he. Oh yeah. He's got a lot of muscle. Small, smaller guy with a lot of muscle. Absolutely. So while I was gone, I saw they gave out some pro cards. That's yeah, pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. I was definitely glad to see Ben Larson earn that pro card because he's a local here, and I've seen him at this show several times, and his physique just keeps getting better. Mm -hmm. A funny story about him, uh, probably 18 years ago, I used to work at the local gym, and he was just like one of those permanent fixtures. Oh, yeah. He was like one of those guys on a schedule. You knew after work, Always he'd come in with his out. gym bag, and he trained. So that's years. Wow. That's what it takes. Works. Yeah. Takes that consistency. Dedication. Hey, Ronald. How how are you? There was someone, I think it was 64 years old, what they said, if you were wondering. Oh, 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 oh. All right. In second place. Take that over to. All right. And this is where it shows that that classic physique looked different from one to the other. Wow. You know, his wife is going to be competing as a pro tomorrow. Oh, and she just did, she just competed. Are you talking about 42? Uh, Sherman Reed. Oh, no, Sherman Reed. No. Yes, yes. I know his wife. Yes. Yep, and she yep. actually trains with Melanie. That's her coach. Ooh. Yeah, Melly Farkas, Miss America. Makes sense. <laughs> I followed them both. They post some really good content on their IGs. Really encouraging one another. I love them too. I got to meet her for, for the first time yesterday at the check-ins, okay. his wife, yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, I, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he did the Showtime Classic a few weeks ago. That could be, I think I've seen him. Yes, yes, yeah, so, I did. So, you know what, we talked about that. Awesome, and he earned his pro he card. He just won his pro card. Yeah, good job. Congrats. He'll be joining his wife now. Be doing the pro shows together. Ooh, that's awesome. Philip, he did the Showtime Classic with you, right, Philip? shorter head judge next year. Maybe I should head judge. Yeah. Head. <laughs> you can't see over the stage. <laughs> Philip confirmed uh, Sherman did do the Showtime class. Oh, he did? Okay. Yes. okay. Because Philip won his pro card there. All right. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Sammy yes, Joe, I, gotta, I have to sign off. Yes, all right. Thank I'm you. on a schedule here. Yeah, you thanks got a show for having up tomorrow. Me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. And we'll then, see uh, you on the pro stage tomorrow. I'll be back. I can, I'll be back tomorrow after I'm done if you want. Like a half dead person on the mic. <laughs> uh, are you kidding me? You'll you'll be amped up after you get on stage tomorrow. I know that. But get yeah, a, definitely. Get a few carbs right. in Always you. welcome. Thanks for table. having me. Yes. All right. Good. All right. And.
and see it's so much quieter listen <laughs> i'm serious listen this is <laughs> oh yes <laughs> all right all right how old is he 66 66 men's physique never too old oh wait 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 go ahead everyone out there that's going to the gym saying they can't do this at 40 50 and 60. look at these guys right let them be your motivation yeah so just just to clarify chris has been quiet over here but he is he's running my cameras he took over my uh my little command center so oh, i think this is the family <laughs> oh. I, I know we got some fields watching. If, the, if this field is related to Betty Fields, let, let us know. <laughs> There's Adam. Oh, my goodness, guys. Adam made me cry today. Adam made you cry today. Yes, he's a great artist. And he took one of my pictures and he turned it into cartoon form. And it's so awesome. It's going to be, it's gonna be a, a hit. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. When I see What's that Adam's film? Instagram? Oh you gotta Adam? throw it out there. So uh, someone else can get some work. He can I make know someone it. Else I know it. I follow him. I can't think of it right now. Isn't that true, Ronald? Great shape for 66. No excuses, right, Ron? That's uh -oh. right. Here we go. This is, he just did the Kentucky show, the NGA. Mm. The, the bluegrass. Yeah. Yep. As I look at his physique, uh, this is heavyweight. <laughs> he has a lot of, of muscle. mature muscle. He yeah. really does. He does not look his age at all. His so, arms. He's got arms like you, Chris. My arms aren't that big. They're making me want to go home, guys. I'm going home. I won't be competing tomorrow. Everyone says I'm fat. I'm a bodybuilder. Um, no, no. I'm joking, Sam. I'm not going here. Stop. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Now, okay, interesting story about him. He registered last minute, um, and I believe he's a firefighter from Miami. Uh, yeah, and he, he's crossed over, right? He did bodybuilding. Yeah, he's been yeah, up here been, quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, so good for him. He's making the most of his, his drive up here. Masters men's physique. Tam said, let's go, Jason. And Tony H says, I see you, Jason. Jason. Big shout out, Tammy. Big shout out, Tony. Uh, show Jason some love in the comments. Um, I can do our tokens. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I have uh, the volume up here. Um, here we go, awards. This show is going so smooth. I'm loving it. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to mess with Chris's cameras. Number 57, All right, Adam. He has so much fun competing. You know, I feel like there's a story. Um, I, I just, do you know his, his background? I like do his, not. No? I know that he trains with Marcus. Um, he's been shooting for this pro call for quite a while. Okay. I believe I met him at this show two years ago. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. I know he's been following ever since um, Sorry, the ums. Don't beat me up, Sam. Oh, no. Not at all. I just try not to say anything that Marcus is going to beat me up for later. So when I started <laughs> talking smoke to Marcus, I think he ran to him <laughs> after Marcus beat me a couple times. Well, you asked about this guy. Um, it says, born failure to thrive and later diagnosed with cystic fibrosis yes. and average life expectancy around 18. My genetics have done nearly everything to keep me off the stage. Fitness, lifting, and nutrition have not only improved my quality of life, but it's kept me alive. 
That's Adam. Adam's backstory, yeah. I knew there was Go one. Go, Adam. Another one? <laughs> I knew. We all have, there's amazing. a lot of competitors that have that unique backstory. The first thing I heard was he's not supposed to be here. He's only supposed to be the 18. I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, That's he perfect. showed them. Keep doing big things and inspiring all of those watching you, my brother. Mm -hmm. Yep. And congrats to number 42, France again. Another pro card. They're going to call this the France In pro two next different year. divisions. <laughs> Come France. on. Is Daryl going to have to bring us to what's in France? Give me a city, country. Paris. Paris. <laughs> AAU bodybuilding says lots of us old guys. That's right. Showing up, showing out. That's Martin Drake. What's up, Martin? <laughs> No excuses, right, Martin? Hold on one second, two minutes. We've got a little hold here, people. It should be Masters Bikini. You just up. missed Ken, Mar uh, Martin. He was on the mic here for quite a while. Mr. Beerly. We got the ladies dancing in the back. Oh, look. <laughs> Audience, are you still with me? Oh, this. They are ready to go. Amanda Johnson. Let's go, Amanda. She is from Alaska. They what? flew in. Yeah, they flew in from Alaska. Oh, all over. And you know what? She is a veteran of the show. She's done it several times. Mm. 47, mother of three. Isn't that wild? Mm -hmm. She doesn't look a day over 30. Oh, my goodness. Her first bodybuilding competition was in 2012. Yep. And she said to her family and friends, thank you for all the love and support, especially her husband, Mark. Shout out to the NGA, promoters, volunteers. This amazing event, so much appreciation for gratitude for your hard work. She And she looks better every time I see her. That pro card will come. And she'll be very oh, appreciative. Oh, let me clarify. This is not who I thought it was earlier. It's her sister. Oh, wow. They look like twins. I even went backstage and I started talking to her. And I go, wait a second. And she starts laughing. And she goes, you're talking about my sister. <laughs> How funny. You she goes, you're not the one. only one. Yeah, she's like, you're not the only one. She looks great. Her core is phenomenal. I think she added 20 years to her life when she moved from New York to Florida. Yeah, so what are you saying? You should move to Florida? Uh, as soon as I find a place, I'm out. <laughs> oh, can I join us down yeah, here Chris, in the Sunshine State? Chris I would love was to. on IG today talking about, oh, it's beautiful over here. It, it is. really is. The only thing I'm worried about is the um, crocodiles and alligators. Whatever. <laughs> you see, you watch too much. Kevin L. I said shout on, out to 123. I heard it on the radio the other day. A guy was taking, you know, he was using the bathroom outside. And he lost an arm from an alligator. Oh, good. So, At like, least he didn't lose something else. <laughs> I, I didn't know where that story was going. <laughs> trying to keep it PG for the, for the, for the ratings. <laughs> we don't want to lose anyone. Sorry. <laughs> No wonder they kicked me off the mic earlier. <laughs> 104. Here she comes. Oh, 104. She just won her pro card. Oh She's been cleaning up, girl. Wait, no, no, no. 104. Look at she those looks, is that her? legs. 104. Is that Blue Ray Riding Hood again? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. She is. Very She's won her pro quads. card today the in the Masters class. Beautiful long legs. Yes. Says the 411. Little Italian girl over here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some of You're those legs? You're appreciating that. Okay, we got some awards coming out. Awards. Man, these bikini classes, I I can't call any of them. It is a tricky division. I feel like it's it's cyclical. Like what what divi what um who's gonna show up? At, like what divisions are gonna show up? Like sometimes it's figure heavy, sometimes it's bikini heavy. Yeah. On this amateur show, the bikini girls showed up and yes, showed they out. Did. That short class was stacked. Congratulations. And this is the no, this isn't the short class, is it? 
Chris, what class is this? Master's bikini. Oh, okay, master. master. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm in the cameras, guys. I'm having fun. And you're in second place. Let's go, Allison. Hey. Wow. Congrats. I love her suit color. I that is a suit color I don't, can honestly say I've never seen before. Right, right. Very unique. Love the tiara or crown. I guess it's a crown. Rather see the pool. Sorry. Pro card. Right there. That's good. That's good. There we go. Another pro card. The okay, so pro let, me card. let me explain to you guys at home the significance of the pro card. Um, there needs to be a class minimum in order to earn that pro card. So that just speaks volumes about Daryl and, and how well he promoted the show. Yeah. That there are so many pro cards being awarded. That's, that means a, a, a good amount of quality athletes had to show up to this event in order for that to happen. So kudos to Daryl and Holly. Boom. Again, for putting on a spectacular event. No one wants to work 16, 20 weeks and show up on a stage with one other person when, and not get warranted a pro card. So no. it's definitely, definitely, definitely rewarding. When an athlete is able to come grab the pro card. Oh, it's. Uh, wait, let me just. And they're able to do everything they need. All right, we're going to take a five minute, five minute break. break. Ladies and gentlemen, how come? Break, we're how come? How come we're taking a break? So. DJ Ruckus. You ready? Cakes. That's exactly what they're called. It pretty much says it all. Eat Camera? My oh. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Just love and Robin's around. <laughs> the energy. Yes. You get so in here, Alan? Big Alan. So subculture, we, we, we've actually took over the table today. We've had some fun. Hope everyone else in the audience was able to you know, come into the arena with us. Yeah, definitely. There we go. <laughs> we might <laughs> I hope we were able to clarify some things you weren't aware of and help ease and navigate your ways through the show. Answer some questions, exactly. The pro show tomorrow. Let's talk about the pros for a second. Mm. <laughs> um, we, I, I'm gonna be interested to see the number of different states that are actually being represented tomorrow on stage because I know we had a lot of athletes. We had athletes as early as Wednesday showing up to the hotel, flying in. Yeah, I thought that was I seen like, that. different. Yeah. I was jealous. I said, I want to be there too. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't wait to get here. They really take that physique um, seriously. And sometimes that, that flight from flying from another state can affect the physique a little bit. So getting here sooner and kind of getting rid of that water retention that you might pick up in the flight and get your movement done, just kind of woo-saw, getting ready for the show. So it's good to come in early if you can afford it. Absolutely. I usually don't. So um, this was the first actual show I've come to actually be around people. I used to have that real competitor mind frame where I just got to get away and stay away from everyone. And so you are staying at this hotel? Yes. OK, because I remember there was a point where you said you weren't going to, and I was like, press. Yeah, I, I used to be like, uh, try to. I don't know, I thought it was like Kobe Bryant or something, or LeBron <laughs> James, and I just had to stay to myself. <laughs> I've had more fun watching this amateur event than I've had competing at any event I've been to. Well, to be awesome. honest, this is the first time I've watched the show. Really? A, a full show, yes. And I'm you're always completely I'm hungry. immersed. Honey, honey, sweetheart. She, I'm sorry. You guys, you're in front of a, get her. 
Wow, like totally, totally oblivious. That's okay. And she doesn't, she's not even low carb. She has no excuses. She said she's not even low carb. Stop, Sam. Stop it. Sorry. I don't know. I hope everyone's having fun out there. I hope everyone's tuned in, logged in. Um, I want to see some more comments, though. I know we got a lot of people tuned in. We have men. 111, to be exact. Cujo Red Natty said that he'll be here tomorrow. Or she. I she, I'm sorry. No, no, it's a boy. It's a boy. It he? Yeah, it's Clifton. It's Clifton. That. Oh. Yeah, he, he was supposed to compete tomorrow with the boys. Clifton. I, I know. Him, I know. Guy. I know. He um he was here last year. He's tall. You know him. Oh if he, he's tall. He's got huge arms. Big. He's just a man. I believe I follow him. He on commands IG, right? the stage when he's up there. He was actually one of the dark horses that I thought were but we're definitely going to take top three. Mm. So, but you know, life happens. But there's always next year. Yeah. And I know he has some shows planned later in the season. So, yeah, I, I love that you, he's Ronald. coming out. He says it's nice to see us. It's see nice to faces. see commentators, right? <laughs> and I think you'll be seeing more media table commentating of the natural bodybuilding shows, not just listening to the head judge, right? This is what it needs. It needs a little excitement, a little, um, where's Alan at? Uh, but dazzle, that's the word. I said I wasn't going to use it anymore. <laughs> you did it. But dazzle, I like it. Sonny said, everyone's looking good. Swole Migo TV said, I'll step on stage one of these days. Come on. Let's do it. And Christy Rice, waiting for 100. Christina in bikini short. She is going to kill it. Swole Migo, what's taking so long? Right. You said one day. Why one day can't be someday this year? <laughs> you know, the, so what would you be the, the biggest advice you would give to somebody who is thinking about getting on stage soon? Just do or, it. Yeah, just, just do like it. Like Nike, just, just do, do it. it. Yeah. Don't let the, uh, don't let procrastination stop you from being your best you. That's right. And, um, you know, and do it right when you do decide to do it. Hire a coach. That you know. knows what they're doing. <laughs> Do your research. Do your Not research. that just want to show who's had a coach themselves. There are a lot of qualified coaches in the industry. And if we look for them, weed them out, you, you probably be a better athlete. You know, and the other thing I love to mention to people that are just dipping their toes into the sport is we are all so approachable on our social media platforms. Never yeah. be um, embarrassed or scared to reach right. out to a pro. Inbox them. Ask away. We are always happy to answer questions and to guide new competitors. That's literally our platform. Once we become pros, that is our job, is to inform and to um, be an advocate for the sport. That's kind of like our duty once we turn pro, wouldn't you say? I've had so many girls tell me, I always wanted to ask you a question, but I didn't think you want to be bothered with me as an amateur. I'm like. No, I'd love to help. Jump in my DM. Let me know. Absolutely. Or approach me at a show. You know, come say hi. Yep. Yep. And that's how the community grows and built and builds. I'm really say nice right now because I'm in my off season. <laughs> and wait for a hello back. Don't just say hello and get starstruck. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> wait for a response. And, you know, communication is developed like so. Thank you, Christy Rice. We appreciate that. What's my what? song, song for tomorrow? Ooh, I got a special one. I have a really special one. <laughs> Not going to give out the secret, though. <laughs> That's funny. See, that means you're entertaining. Like, people are already excited about what your music is going to be. I'll tell you guys it. It took a lot to choose a song. Um, I reached out to quite a few people, and they said, listen, bro, I can't help you. You got to do that yourself, right? Yeah. You got to do it. what you're feeling and what you're going with. But I like this one. So I said, okay, cool. I listened to it, and then I picked the one I wanted anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, um, I agree. You have to feel the music. Yep. I always say, don't ask me. It's got to be your song. <laughs> but I feel like the best stage, the, if you have the right music, you're feeling your best, you're going to do your best. And it just comes out in your routine by you picking that song, you practicing that, you're feeling it. 
Absolutely. Hit that stage, come alive. Man. So, <laughs> there's so many people in attendance. And let's talk about the great vendors that were here supporting oh, natural bodybuilding. Yeah. Guys, I, I gotta, I, hold on, I gotta get this. One of those vendors were First Form, my people. First Form. That's here. where I get all my supplements from, First Form. We had Fat Ash Cookie. Did you try that cookie yet? That's talking to me there about it cookies. is, right there. I'm sorry, Chris. Fat Ash. You can take it with Fat you and ash. freeze yeah. it or oh these are for you. Okay. She, she got them for us. What? Yes. Oh my goodness. Cookies. If you want to wait till tomorrow to take yours yeah, for no temptation, I understand. I I'm okay. <laughs> Don't take it to your room if it's gonna tempt you. Fat ash bakes. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. So we're oh. at Fat Ash Bakes on Instagram. Um, who got hashtag that good good? I like that. Who hashtag got that good good? Good good. Oh, you're gonna get me in trouble at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the judges up on stage. I love it. Oh, and Kat, Kat Burke was also a judge, and Rick Pierre. I think those were the two I was forgetting. Oh, Christy, wow. Christy, Josh, Ladarius, Yenny, Josh, Rick. Chance and Cat. There they are. That's eight judges, baby. Look at Josh. He's bringing that showtime. Josh, the ghost. <laughs> Stone King. <laughs> that Hollywood to the floor. He's got pro. a couple of nicknames. Stone He's King. He's bringing that, the ghost. that Hollywood. <laughs> a ghost. He's bringing Hollywood to Florida. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And they're going to do it up big next year. They are. They are. But um, I don't want to give a shout out if I could. Yeah, for all the shout outs you want. Better Gourmet, they saved my life coming in here. This week, I didn't have my meal prep. I made a call and I was able to get all of my meals for this whole trip. That's I want to awesome. give Miss Chris at Better Gourmet a shout out and I really appreciate it. Everyone in Staten Island, losing weight is easy when the meals <laughs> are prepared for you. Go check them out right on Victory Boulevard right on Forest Avenue. They have quite a few locations. Shout out to my husband who's watching right now. Oh. Hey, babe. What's up, Rob's husband? Ooh, <laughs> I love that. So he left him home with the kids. I did. You know Poor they're guy. having a good time. <laughs> they're having a good time. I miss them, though. I'm having a great time, but I miss my family. <laughs> Forgiven. So, yeah, the Fat Ash cookies are amazing. Like, oh, my goodness. Miss Brown, who's your daughter? Oh. Dairy-free? I, Do don't, I don't think they're anything free. Okay. I said that the only thing free they were was guilt-free, and <laughs> I'm not convinced that they're that either, because I was like... I cut it into fourths and oh, shared it, goodness. if that counts for something. Sorry. Sorry, Christy. Jean, Jean Brown, thank you so much. Her daughter is competing, and your son is there. Oh, from Maine. I'm from Maine. Hi, Nicole. Maine has great lives. Belgrade, yeah, they have great lives. I'm from the Belgrade Lakes area. Miss Goodno, we love you, too. Goodno in the house. <laughs> Broken finger. Mm. Yeah, we know about your broken finger, Clifton. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, Ronald. He said nice. Supporting the wife. Absolutely. Supporting me to follow my dreams. You could not be the champion you are without it. Absolutely. Oh, this. This. He looks so good. I've been following him on Instagram. What's his Instagram? I would have to I have to double check. Leave it to me to put Sammy on the spot. Put me on the spot. <laughs> I know but he has he some family watching. Giving it his all, trying to earn that pro card. Look at this routine. Let's go. So he actually prepped for shows last year. Two shows got canceled on him last year. Oh wow! That's this, man. yeah, this man. So you you know how much goes into prep, and yeah. for a show to be canceled three weeks out is heartbreaking. And it happened to him twice. So, to see him on stage.
That's dedication um, and determination yeah, yeah, yeah. right there. Absolutely. Here, what was, what was this one? Hold on. I just wanted to see that. Wait, where was this one? I just wanted to know a little bit. In case they put their arms up. Right there. He was already out here. Y'all make some noise on his big win. He oh. should have posed in a smile. Here he comes he again. Okay. Sherman, 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 Sherman. Sherman. <laughs> well, so this Sherman. is the open? Great job. So, okay, so Sherman is giving a shot for the open. Yeah. I think it's just the right. two of them. Mm -hmm. Masters. Masters bodybuilding. That was Masters. Masters bodybuilding. Lightweight. Lightweight open. Yeah. Lightweight open. Lightweight open. Oh, it's three of them. I always got jokes. The winner is wearing red trunks. Wait, they all are. Here we go. In third place. Take that over to competitor number 131, Mikey Keel. Okay. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Wait, is this the lineup here? Wait, I just want to see the names. I just want to see the names. Okay, here we go. Where's Dawn? Yeah, look at Sherman cleaning up. Wow. Let's go, he says. So that puts him in the overall, correct? Uh-huh. So we're going to have a little pose down and some live judging later. Yep. Oh, man. So there's something to be said about mature muscle. A lot. Which, oh, yeah, so that, that's what's happening here. I love his little fist pumps. Go oh ahead there, Sherman. He is <laughs> so excited here. I'm all up in Chris's space here. Hold on. There's a little lag, you guys, but the body weight, bodybuilding middleweight's coming up next. Yep, they're getting them lined up. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. I'm oh, great posing. Yes, he did, Philip. Sherman killed it. Guys, I am back. The funny man himself. Who missed his calling as a comedian? <laughs> I actually, you know what? To be honest with you, I actually did try stand-up comedy. You should do it. Three times. <laughs> How did it go? Well, you know what they say, right? So no. all the all the uh, all the things that come in three, hat tricks, uh, triples. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a good thing. Death. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I gotta be, I gotta be honest with you. It wasn't the uh, the best experience. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that. That's more for like. All right, Heather, are you seeing the stage now? Let us know if you can see it now, Heather, please. And everybody that's still on, thank you guys for joining us. This has been a fun and phenomenal evening. That's for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. All right, you guys have worn those metal. Are those heavy? They look oh, heavy. Oh, yeah, they're heavy. I haven't worn one yet. Oh, okay. And, Chris, I know I'm late, but um, 
Cujo, I think he said something about a broken finger. I think that's why he's not. That's coming. why he's not. Okay. Give shout out, big, big shout out to these athletes, by the way, who have been up since eight in the morning, still posing, still flexing, right? Still probably desiring that, yeah. Still, still craving that hamburger and stuff. <laughs> still bringing their bass, right? All right, Phil looks great. And it's it's amazing how some of these athletes look better in the evening than in the morning. Some of them may have gotten some food in them, and they're pumping up and whatnot, and it just bring an even tighter physique for the night show. Yeah. You know what's crazy is just how much it can really just change on on a, on a turn of a dime. Oh my goodness! The human <laughs> body is definitely unique. That is for sure. What a good looking class. This whole thing about peaking. Hit that little and I have comment. to know how to do it correctly. It looks like a bubble, like a talking bubble. Yeah, there you go. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. We're going to do some awards, guys. Mr. James Robinson. Yep. We have the seasoned competitor who takes the class. Good for him. Yeah, bodybuilding's all about that size, ain't it? What was he doing in in men's physique? That's what I He's a bodybuilder. See what I mean? I, I I keep trying to tell everybody, get out of my class. He's a <laughs> bodybuilder. I wanted to say it. <laughs> Look, Chris, just tell me who you want me to tell to get out of our class, That's and it. I will. That's I, it. I will. There's this guy named Marcus Harris. You could tell him to get out. Yeah. Of I don't know about that one. So, anyways. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that one didn't last very long. <laughs> First time competitor. I'm excited to see. Oh, we did see his routine earlier. He actually had a really solid uh, right. stage routine. That's right. And, so and this was his first competition as yes, well. Yes, yes. His coach is an OCB pro. So he's been working with her. Uh, Gene Brown said his daughter's ma um, Dr. Major Powers in women's figure. Number 37 or age 37. Okay. Uh oh. Just the two of them. Well, we already know here the seasoned competitor is Ben Larson, won his pro card earlier tonight. Right. So, yep. That's a heck of competition to be standing yeah. there. Yeah. Yep. You know, Ben Larson, he's a li lifetime, um, he's trained, he's trained. Like I said, 18 years ago, he was <laughs> permanent fixture in the gym. But, what, I mean, what a, what a, who better hey, to hey, compete hey, against so with your first competition? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> You know, and your only hope is that, that the smooth. the new competitors are backstage talking to the veterans and making friends and connections exactly. and learning. Exactly. And we get the privilege of watching them grow. Absolutely. Come back better and harder. In my limited experience, I will say that, yeah, that, that is some of the best learning experience right there. Talking to everyone else, hearing their mm. stories. So here comes the overall. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Ooh. All right, so we got light, middle, heavy. Oh, I don't know who to pick on this one. This one is a challenge. Wow. Sherman really I'm has that tiny I'm thinking Sherman's going to be bringing it. Yeah. going to take it. I don't know how Sherman. Look at that vacuum. Wow. Yeah, I think Sherman might have this one. He's just perfectly peaked for this show. Perfect. Heather said, that's my baby. 
<laughs> All right. He's, someone said it. He's 37. She's 37. Oh, her number is 37. That's yeah. a Dr. Major Powers. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. This is a great looking group up here, though, seriously. Right, so what's happening now is the same thing that happened at pre-judging. The judges, the head judges taking them through their quarter turns and then their mandatories, and they're doing live judging. And once every judge has picked their, um, their, you know, their number one, the, it'll be handed down to the tabulator and then we will hand it off to our MC. And that's what's happening right now. It's a matter of size. Um, dark blue trunks will probably take it. But Donald, I think it's Donald. Yes, yeah. and then Sherman will take it for his conditioning for sure. Yeah. Killing it. Yeah. Man. Oof. I think I'm gonna have to go Donald, guys. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with Sherman. Me too. I had Sherman. Yeah. I'm gonna hope Donald does good over here so he stays. Hey, can we ask the head judge to move him around? I need him on my side. There you go. Let me watch the live stream, actually. Let me check into the live stream. Uh oh. Oh, they listened. I guess I guess Sammy's running the show as well. Always. Always duh. Sorry, I don't even know why I even said it. Sorry, Sammy. You know what though? I kinda like Donald too. They're comparing him right now. That's why they moved him to the they're comparing him and Sherman. Yeah. You're right, it's just it's two completely different bodies that, up there. That's really interesting, yeah, you're right. Mr. Sherman has excellent conditioning. He does. It's just crazy because, yeah, in this sport, that's a huge thing. You gotta be really Yo, And Sherman's really got the shredded, best game face the up there, too. Donald, you know, if, if, if his, his, his legs his, were, yep, yep. His legs just, if they came in a little and He's got such more. good mass on those yeah. legs, too. Look, guys, I'm going to tell you guys, when you guys rewatch this, I, I can't find a flaw in any of you Donald's guys, but that's just me. Donald's legs remind me of mine last year. <laughs> I'm trying to, well, no, that's thick. what I'm trying to find flaws right now. That's oh, what I'm trying, trying to do. That's what you have yes. to do oh. when you're doing I'm trying to. This is the best of the best up there. I'm well, trying. Mind yeah. you, this is amateur, right? Okay. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Uh, again, guys, I got to tell you, I, I don't have a leg to stand on the <laughs> Patience, <laughs> grasshopper, okay? Patience. <laughs> They're all g great posers, I will say that. Took me a while too, Alan. I learned a lot of things. It's I'm all still right. learning. All right. Now Donald's side uh, tries his uh, hamstring side pose looked really good. This is tough for the judges because they definitely are working. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, it's already, it's already challenging for us to commentate on them. Right. You can imagine actually judging. <laughs> Oh look God. at Sherman's back. Jeez. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. And look how hard they're flexing. They have to squeeze so hard. Oh, yeah. Mm. There we go. Yeah, but Chris, this is the perfect angle right here. It's just you can check, go through. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. This is a prime example of them giving everyone a good look over. I'm liking that. <laughs> yeah, when I was judging, I'd always be that one judge. Nope, I'm not done yet. Wait, one more second. One more second. <laughs> one more, one more second. You're that one. I'm You're that judge. one. You're that one. <laughs> working. How many more quarter turns do we need, dang it? <laughs> you just want to get it right. Sammy Joe's giving them their stage time. Right. Sammy Joe is the reason why competitors like me sit there and be like, oh my God, how much longer do we have to be for? <laughs> just one more. Pick already. Yeah, I don't. All right, we got uh, J3 cheering yeah. for Jason. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice crowd. You know, I'm not, you, know uh, you know, it's crazy. So, uh, yeah, the longer they're up there, I, uh, I feel like my, get a little harder. And, and my, pick, in my opinion is changing, I'm going to say. <laughs> I, uh, you know what? I am gonna. Uh, I hate to do it, but yeah, I think I'm gonna yeah, switch my Donald's pick. Because Donald's just getting tougher and he, tougher. He man. is getting tougher. He really is. And you know what else can happen? Other athletes can get flat, flatter and flatter uh, as they, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, my down. my pick has officially changed, guys.
They both won the pro car, didn't they? I, I believe so. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So this is just for fun. Pretty much. <laughs> or to say you're the best of the best. Yeah. Always. Mm -hmm. And the swag bag. Don't forget yeah. about oh, swag yeah. bag. The swag bag. That's actually the only thing that matters, guys. The swag <laughs> bag. The ch yeah, I mean, Daryl does a great job with the awards and the, and the tr you know, the winners get taken care of. Let's just put it that way. Absolutely. There they go. Now they're having some fun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's challenging him. Come on, oh, yeah. Let's go. There it is. Yeah. There we Thanks. go, guys. Loving the camaraderie up there. Yep. The camaraderie is amazing. Camaraderie. As we always say, community over competition. Yes, sir. They are hyping up the people on the out on the side of the wing waiting to come in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, Donald knows he's getting better and someone else is fading out. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how that's working, right? I should have Ben's head cut off. Ian's bringing the energy, right? Yeah. Is that a different kind of shine that they put on, or is that them sweating? I'm just out of curiosity. <laughs> I'm not entirely at sure. At this saying. point, it's a little bit of both. That's a little bit of both? Yeah. yeah. That's that natural glaze. Where did his natural. confidence come from? That man just transformed on the stage. He did. He knows something we don't know. Man, he said, I... You're not wrong. Oh my! It's interesting. Everything we're talking about, he did. He just he kind like, of oh, came out done. like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> really interesting. Oh man! The hmm. judges are still getting it in. They were about to finish the song too. Here, go to Ian or or just some. There you go. Or this back, yeah. There we go. It got really quiet. <laughs> Shh. So quiet. <laughs> I see that. Bebop. Wait, is he Bebop? Oh, I thought that was Ian on the mic. Oh, doing that would be so cool. I thought cool. he was like. <laughs> All right, while they're doing the live judging, we need some live judging in the comments. What number you got, guys? Yeah, let's hear it. I got 118 for sure. 118. Oh, my God. Yeah. I got a 118. Anybody in the comments come in with a 118? Oh. Going Shoot. once, going twice. So you guys remember, whoever wins this overall can compete with the pros tomorrow. Oh, that's oh, right. Wow. Daryl gave oh. them. Oh, see, Daryl mm -hmm. always got some nice little nuggets. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Who will be competing with the pros tomorrow? If they choose to, yes, Ooh. that is. I know Mr. Confidence is with it. I don't know. Go I think back. I'd Go rather back. eat. Go back. What do you say, Alan? It's just an empty <laughs> screen. <laughs> eat and watch the show for me. State there we go. Hosted by me. Nicole Goodno said Sherman's lat spread is awesome. It is. It is. And he has that tiny waist. You know, that really um, brings out, the, uh, it's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. He's got the lats, the tiny waist. His competitor number 118, Jason Wow, you said it. Look at that. I you had, changed your I vote. I didn't change my vote, guys. Wow. I, I just want to let everybody know if I if I stuck to Sherman, he would have won instead. But because I switched my bow, that's why he won. Uh, and the pro card. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? That's, that's what it is. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome up there, bro. I love uh, it. My husband said 118 too. He did. All yeah, right. Yeah, there right. you go. Are we going to All right, babe. I'll see you. Oh, and the belt. And he got the belt. Congratulations. Yeah, the hey. <laughs> Woo. Wait, what's oh. the. Is, is the belt for the overall? Is that what that is? Yep. Yes. Yep. Ah. It's a new feature in this show. Dang. Look at the sparkle. That There's is, your bling. There's, there's your a, sparkle. I'm trying to tell you guys, the theme of bodybuilding is bedazzle you bling. You got to get the bedazzle. You got to get the bedazzle, guys. <laughs> if you're watching and you're thinking about competing, you need to think about bedazzle, dang it. <laughs> 
Invest. Invest in in Bedazzle. Congratulations. Wow, great job. Yeah, so and he, he gets said, a full size wolf pack. These oh, are like 100 bucks yes. plus. So his wife is a competitor as well. So he said this year is him and next year will be her. All oh. right. Yeah, I liked that. Sometimes you gotta take turns doing that, man, right. because it, both parties and prep can be brutal. Exactly. Awesome. Also oh, from, France. Goes, from France. From France. From France. Hey, oui, oui. God. <laughs> I went. To, I went and talked to a man backstage. That man is just so emphatic and so present and just so humble about everything. It's amazing. Cannot say this enough. There are so many amazing people in this community. Gratitude. Anybody ready to go to the club with this music? Like, all right, let's go. Shout out to, to the DJ. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. It's the best part, Philip. You gotta do the show for the for the awesome awards. We got the champ in the building. What's up, Champs man? Oh, Mr. Arias North. <laughs> How you guys doing? Arias. Very not, good. Not that one. Nice to meet you. I keep hearing about you, bud. Right on. Everybody keeps on talking about Natty Norris. Natty Norris. Are you are you the, the man, the myth, the legend? Is, is that what it is? I guess so. I guess we'll find out, right? My God. I guess so. How you the doing, man, the myth, the myth, legend. Good, good. How you feeling about tomorrow, my man? I feel pretty good about it. I uh, just holding a little bit of water weight from traveling, you know, taking two planes. But uh, they got a sauna right here in the hotel, which is really nice. Oh. It's so a really just, good sauna, too. So I'm about to just go in there, shed that water weight, and then be good. All right, all right. Yeah. I, I got know it. what to do. How's the show been so far? It's been amazing so far, man. Uh, everybody's been killing it. Everybody's been showing up. Nice. I heard there's this guy who was just killing it. He had, uh, I guess he won in uh, physique. He won in bodybuilding and then classic. From France. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? He's yeah. a monster right now. Gotcha. He okay. is. He is. So he might as well pull up tomorrow with the rest of the pros and see how he gets <laughs> up against us. You he know? looks ready. He looks is ready. Right? <laughs> well, well, if uh, if you listen to anything that Robin was saying, Robin said you're not a pro until you actually compete against pros, but I think he can hold his own. Yeah, I, I think he can stand up there. Okay. I think he can stand up there, right? All right, so Mr. Natty Norris. Oh, look who we have on the stage. Have one Our the, girl, oh, yeah. 105. Miss Gabby. Miss Bring It. That's her new name for me, Mrs. Yo, Bring It. Her stage presence bringing is amazing. Bring her stage it. presence reminds me of the champ we have sitting with us. Oh, oh. Mr. Oh, <laughs> man. You see, the look? You. you see that look, Daddy? Yeah, she's definitely owning the stage right now. She looks like a pro. Bro, and the, don't forget the outfit change as well. Um, yeah, she the, did an outfit switch. She did switch. another outfit switch. Did she have red bottoms on? I, I don't. Oh, she might. Or it's just a reflection no, that of the was carpet. Her it doesn't matter. Turn, and then when she came back out, she did a, a different suit. It was orange, I think. She is really owning that stage, though. That's for sure. Stage presence is key. I was actually able to learn that with the competitor that we have stepping up. Uh, when Nicole said, "Great symmetry and lower, upper and lower," that's what this category is all about: symmetry and leanness. Yes. So has the show uh, lived up to the hype as far as the first super show of the year? Uh, yeah, and these um, these uh, amateurs have been bringing it, man. It's supposed to be what, 70 something? It's 78. 78 athletes. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Amateurs. Amateurs. They got us by four. It's like four uh, pros. 74 pros? Yeah. That's awesome. It's definitely lived up to the hype, though. I'll tell yeah. you that it's been a great reason to fly in. <laughs> yeah. I know Arias, you came from pretty far. I came from pretty far. Robin came from pretty far. Yeah. Alan came yeah. from pretty yeah. far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Florida's far from We're all literally of us. Yeah. Like all different parts of, of, of the U.S. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> were you from Alan? Because I know I know Chris is from New York and then Robin's from Minnesota. Yeah. yeah. So I'm from you? California. California. Okay. Yes, sir. Cali. Cali, Cali, Cali. Me and my husband love Cali. Yo, yo, anything to get away from Cali, and I'm okay with it. What? That's beautiful weather, man. Oh, All yeah, the time. yeah, it's also beautiful taxes and stuff. I, I guess don't get right. me started on this. <laughs> this. Don't make this into an event session, guys. Yeah. It's having a great competition, you know? <laughs> All right, we got some awards coming up, guys. I dig it. I'd rather California than New York any day. 
I mean, I, I, I won't deny that part. Yeah, same. <laughs> Taxes are worse in New York, and the weather is worse. So, yes, yeah. I absolutely agree. In fourth place, take that over to... Oh, this got to be Miss 105's. Oh, well, let's see. All the same token, I wouldn't be able to judge this. I would say everybody is winning, this though. This part is so nerve-wracking. All right, in third place, take that over to... Amanda is a proud mama. She said Victoria oh, is killing one, it. Two, oh, there's your baby, Amanda. She just took third in this competition. She did so well. Especially, it's supposed to be like her first competition, yes, right? This is her very first. God, yeah. they did amazing. Take that over to competitor number 67. Oh, yeah, 105. Miss Bring It brought it. Miss Bring It brought it. I remember Alan was saying uh, during during the break that she was very gracious. Oh of my your God! Compliments to her. You yeah. know what's amazing is she has such a strong presence on stage, and but also humble at the same time. Behind stage, she's Love just it. so yeah, just so nice, elegant. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you had such a great presence. She's like, oh my God, thank all you. Right. They're just taking it all in. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. You know, like some people, you compliment like, oh, I know. And that's right. Oh, that's man. how I expected. What's how confident she is. <laughs> Yes, people love the humility, man. Right? Let us toot your horn, okay? Yeah. I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Natty Norris, you are in, right. my opinion, the yeah. toughest division yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Who are uh, who are some of the athletes you are looking forward to seeing again, competing against, sharing the stage with? Uh, oh! 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 Talk about taking the pressure off. We so, both yeah, pros yeah. now. Yeah. Ah, well, congratulations, Dakota. Definitely uh, want to hang it back against this guy, you know, uh, Chris. Okay. You know, we ran it back in, what, 2021? I think that was, yeah, that was or, 2021. Or two, yeah, some, somewhere around there. But we ran it back here in Florida. So this will be our second meeting uh, in Florida again. Uh, CJ, he's a great competitor. I uh, saw him win the Jordan. Um, who else is in there? Uh, Tommy, he was at um, he was at the uh, Atlas down okay. there in uh, in Texas. Who else? Uh, That's a crazy heavy hitter. We got period. yeah, we got a lot of guys <laughs> and then a lot of guys who I haven't competed against yet, but I've been in uh, contact with you right. know, via social media and stuff like that. Okay. So uh, a lot of first timers I'm going against, and a lot of guys who have gone against. So I'm pretty excited, you know, to, to see us all standing up there all at once. You know, it's gonna be. Pretty crazy. Anderson, right. you know, he's one of the one of the better guys who's gonna be up there. Okay. Uh, All right, guys. So real quick, oh, yeah. I want to cut in here because this is a young man from before. Remember, we had to do the. Uh oh, Mr. we're gonna do a quick correction, guys. Oh, we open uh, last time we were saying that we gave him some uh, another coach. Uh oh. Over the last four weeks, he What's switched up, coaches, and his new coach and prep coach is Jacob um, Pomroy, with Atlas Nutrition. And his uh, IG is at the underscore real underscore posing underscore sensei. He said that over the last four weeks, Don has put on four pounds of muscle while dropping 3% body fat. Ooh. Wow. And this is via a body scan, so it's facts. Um, and his waistline is 23 inches. Ooh, wow. What? 23 That's what happens inches. when you switch to proper coaching. Go, That's Don. And uh, Jacob. Wow. And this guy has it. This is my my bestie Glory's boo thing. What is it? Sexual, Sexual chocolate. chocolate. Oh, Foot this is Glorian's uh, boyfriend, huh? <laughs> Apparently. That's Glory's he looks, guy, he looks man. Great. He's cool people. Let's go, Don. Yeah. Look, that's an amazing routine, man. He understands posing. I, I, Let's go. I can only aspire to build myself into being nicknamed Sexual Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I we'll give only... you Sexual Vanilla, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> Ta sexual Tapioca Pudding. I mean, whatever. Hey, but listen, I got to get going here. Got to get <laughs> Thank a few you for getting done. on here with us, but thanks Eric, for man. thanks for tapping in with me. I appreciate of course, you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. I appreciate you. See you tomorrow, we man. We can't see, wait to see you rock that stage tomorrow. Likewise. See you later, Mr. Two-Time America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
That's Number right, Philip. 62, Johnny Lindley. Oh, wow. It's great conditioning. Amazing conditioning. I saw him pumping up backstage. This guy's been showing up all day. Mm-hmm. He's doing it. Go, so Rudy. Let's go, Rudy. Rudy. I was actually talking to Rudy backstage, and he was saying that after tomorrow, he's only going to be doing classic physique until he earns his pro card. I think Kent will be happy with that. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Sometimes it's actually hard to take the feedback you get when you go to the judges. Right, it's like, hey, especially how when can I improve? It's like, hey, go to a different class. Oh, oh. That is rough because your heart might be somewhere else. I can only imagine. Takes a little time. All right, I'm going to take sexual chocolate on this one, guys. Uh oh. Yeah, uh, uh, Nicole said he's a fan, fan favorite. Mr. Sexual Chocolate? Yes. Nicole said I mean, he looks. Looks much better than at the Showtime class. Oh, yes, Nicole, because he, he switched does. coaches. Oh, and I was actually backstage talking with him and his coach. And his yes. coach was showing me the before and after pictures. Absol and it's, and it's is crazy, it that right? Significant, Nuts. Huh? Oh, is big coach? time. His, I already talked about him. Je uh, Jacob Pomeroy is his coach. Pomeroy. Yep. Yeah. Well. Okay, cool. Mr. Pomeroy, I'm in need. Mr. Pomeroy is very passionate about if his craft. If you can do that with me, oh, man. Shoot, sign me and Chris up both. <laughs> You're going to get yourself in trouble, man. Hey, you got a coach. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I do have a coach. I'm just saying. I'll just stop. Say it's okay to browse. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm just, I am just I am browsing. just talking. because we're choosing. Oh, my God. Choosy lover. Not even like that. <laughs> <laughs> we are I gave my coach a shout out. Oh. Where's Glory? Let's go, Don! Oh, let's go. Oh. Mr. Don, sexual let's chocolate. Go, Don. This man, what he got? Two pro cards in a, in, in a month's time? Good for him. Freaking A, bro. God, he's Look at Glory at over there. Ah. She is jumping for joy. <laughs> Good for him. Let's go, man. He's got that old school classic look, doesn't he, right? The guy is so easy. Yes. Like, huh? It's just so easy for him. Just Yo, like, just, just, yeah, I know, right? Like, sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to blow that guy a kiss right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Good for this guy. I'm gonna help yes, out. Don. Congrats. Congratulations, Don. Glory's over there having a panic attack. Now, <laughs> I bet you the guy from the Lose Eddie the Murphy, uh, the real actor, he's like, look at me on TV right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drops the mic. Now he's. Good job, Don. Professional sexual chocolate. Good for this, man. I think it's safe to say that switching up coaches was a, a good decision. Yeah, and, 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 I'm and, curious to see who was the coach before now. Well, you know, and here's the thing, guys. Just because the coach before didn't have you, like, respond in a certain way doesn't make exactly. him a bad coach. Absolutely. It just means it wasn't a great fit. Yeah, or he said he's still in great. Lie. We're not going to lie. He said he, <laughs> We're but not going to lie. But he said he's, he We're has no ill lie. feelings with his coach. Yeah. They're in good things. Just wasn't a fit for him. Exactly. So, so sometimes um, we go through these things and we just can't accept the facts. I've gone through some coaching yeah. myself sometimes. Once I receive a cookie-cutter program, as far as a program I know that's not tailor fit for me, yeah. I am calling you a horrible coach. Oh, Sorry. wow. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> No cookie cutter programs. Yeah. What about brownie cutter programs? <laughs> they said what about brownies? <laughs> this guy is Only good. Only if it has sprinkles in them, okay? This guy is good. <laughs> Only if it has sprinkles. I am here for the rest of the day and tomorrow. <laughs> That's it, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, they're gonna hire you again. Oh, they're gonna <laughs> they said they'll hire you again. And again. And I'll, again. I'll, find, I'll find a coach <laughs> next time, you know what I mean? They said a, I'll good find a, coach. a good one. A good one. Just don't don't bring the same script. Oh. Yeah, just no cookie cutters, guys. Look at this guy, man. He's killing it. 
This is the guy that's been training since he was 13 years old. Walker and Dreski. Look at that. Him, man. That guy is amazing. I love when I, you can see the passion in their poses. Oh, yeah. You know, they get it. You, it's you not know, just matter of fact. You know what I love, too? It's like classic physique and like the mustache and hair is like a classic look That's as what well. I'm saying, you know that what I mean? Look. Yeah. Bringing it old school. Like, if you're going to go classic, you better be bringing the 80s to it. You know what I mean? At the bare minimum <laughs> decade. The nostalgia. Right? <laughs> you're cutting up my hands with them rings. Showtime Keith just walked by, guys. I think he walks by on purpose just so everybody can show him love. You know what I mean? If I was Showtime and I was like, I'm not getting enough attention, I'm just walk through and have everybody dab me up. Real quick. One time. Just it's one, one time, time. You know what I mean? I have goals now, guys, in this natural bodybuilding community is to walk around and get dadded up for no reason. Just to be me. That's it, guys. That's it. I don't know how I get it. That's all I want to do. I don't know how I get it. Hey, it's you. Hey, it's you. What's up? The cookie cutter guy. The cookie cutter. There you are. Man, you gave me the same program as that. <laughs> you gave me this. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, man. That was number 117. You Cedric. You're laughing like that. <laughs> Chris exposed me right quick. I like yeah, Cedric. I like Cedric in this number 117. I'm not going to lie. That might be a personal thing because uh, I talked to him a couple times. But I did go back then. I told him, bro, I think you should consider physique. And then when you consider it, consider not signing up for this same competition as me. <laughs> That's exactly Let's what just I told him. Word for word. So right. we can like, compare it. notes. Right. And, uh, I, I will follow you on Instagram, but I don't want to follow you to another competition. That's all I'm saying. That poor man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. go, Walker. Mr. Classic looking himself. Yes. He understood the assignment. I think it's getting down to 135. He's even got the hair going, too. Okay. All right. Cedric at 135. Very similar physiques. Very similar. I think it's just a little bit He's more a little lean. Bit, yeah, a little bit thicker. And a little bit, yeah. A little more cut, I should say. Cut. Yeah, sorry, cut, not leaner, cut. Another pro car winner there. Congratulations, Chauncey. You look amazing up there, young man. There it goes. So cool to see their their faces surprised, like, oh, <laughs> I got a pro card. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I was, if I was one of those people that was in my own class, I too would act like I'm surprised that I won. <laughs> Just cause, oh, you might as well play the theatrics with it, you know? Oh, there he is. Talk to him on the uh, on the elevator. Someone goes, how'd you do? He goes, I don't know yet. We're about to find out now. Number 84, Zach Forer. His legs look amazing. He's the guy that won the best legs at his last competition. Oh, let's see. Yo, I had to, uh, I even told him, so I saw him in the elevator. And I was like, yo, man, I don't compliment too many men on their legs. But you, you got it going, my man. You got it going. This guy must be riding elevators a lot, because I've seen him on the elevator, too. Oh, too? <laughs> Maybe that's the key to big and legs. And someone else goes, how'd you do? And he says, I don't know yet. So Maybe. let's find out. Oh, he looks amazing, though, seriously. Oh, Philip said the overall is going to be good because Chauncey outplaced Don at the Showtime Classic. Really? So to see how this Ooh. is going to go in the overall. I'm going to take my sexual chocolate, homie. You know what I mean? 
I gotta take it. I don't think you want to claim that sexual chocolate, my brother. <laughs> I think there's a young lady out here that might have a problem. Uh, okay, right. you know what? I'm not trying to claim her. And like she's that. also a bodybuilder. You're looking. I ain't trying to fight with anybody. <laughs> I'm just trying to pick who's gonna win. But apparently that means something else to everybody else up here, guys. <laughs> Doesn't he, Nicole? <laughs> Daryl always cleans up good for these shows. Uh oh! Oh! Uh -oh. Look at that. <laughs> Bringing it back. Number 88, Alexander Nicholson. Yes. Woo. Speaking about sexual chocolate, you got a vibe in here, don't he? <laughs> Yo, He's this is that it. 90s R&B, though. He like, like the good stuff. Hey! Hey! There you go. He killed okay. it. Again, that dancing Ooh. background definitely give people the advantage. Oh. I got to tell you, this is one of the best routines I've seen all night. Hey. hey. That guy he even killed danced it. his way off the he stage. Killed it. I like he that. killed it. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, just real quick, so all the cameras, all right. it's okay they can hear me, they're all recording. So now we want to make sure we don't cut off their heads, and I'll still be able to use that footage later. Tonight, make some noise for competitive number Whoops. 8, Lamar. We just lost Joseph. somebody. Lamar. Oh, yeah, that's right. He had his uh, song cut off earlier. Oh, yeah. And he posed anyway. Yeah, yeah, I would have done it anyway. It's like, right, I give myself have a routine to do. <laughs> there you go. Nice vacuum. Bakum. Uh oh, the camera dropped. Sammy Joe. Oh, there we go. Didn't miss a beat either, Chris. I can't even pronounce your name, but I'm going to say Danny A. <laughs> James got a lot of muscle in that frame, man. He does. He does. I can imagine what it's going to look like the next time he shows up, too. This young man also uh, trains with one of my with one of my boys who's gonna be performing tomorrow, which is King Chidozi. If you're listening Ooh. to this, good luck, my man. Absolutely. But I can't imagine what it's like to train with that guy either. <laughs> that guy's huge. The guy is ginormous. Huge. He'd be on the side side of you going lightweight, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. I don't think he has to say that when he stands next to me. I think yeah. I just it's assumed. He'd be like, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're there already. So I guess with this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Alexander number 88. One with the great dancer. Oh, routine. that did the. I think he, his dance won me over. Mm -hmm. His uh, not to call him secure, but his hips did not lie. His uh, his <laughs> overall mass is just impressive. It is. All right. I think it's amazing how how big some of these athletes are and how it's fluid they move. Down. It's just amazing to right. me. Right. <laughs> You know, what, you know what's great about this bodybuilding show? Like, even the ladies that are presenting the trophies I are in phenomenal shape. I was just looking shape. at her. I'm like, I told her in the bathroom, girl, you are killing it. Good job, Lamar. Ooh, 
this is gonna be this is gonna be uh, tough between these two over here. In third place, take that over to competitor number 84, Zach Potter. Oh. Where's the other? Oh, there's only one left, or am I just tripping? Mm. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we were supposed to have competitor number 92. He wasn't backstage, but make some noise for number 92, Ben Larson. So he won. Oh, Ben Larson. So that means our first place winner is Sexual Chapel. Did he? Ben said he was done. Yeah, I don't blame Ben. Ben's been up there all day long. But congratulations to number 88, Alexander Nicholson. That's who you picked, dude. That is. That is. I think the routine won him over. Yeah. I, I, I mean, how could you? Well, they said they weren't judging the routine. Yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say. Uh -uh. Oh, all right. <laughs> Where does he work? I, I think I know where he works. So not, not, not Magic Mike, but Magic Alexander, huh? Something like that. Something like that. Yep. These All right, guys, guys are blushing in here. Like, oh my God. I know exactly what job is. What's his profession? He's, uh... <laughs> Daryl's like, that's enough. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my God! Yo, that was an energy. That Ian was an energy. Ian is on a roll, right? You hear Ian? <laughs> that was on a. That was an energy, guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's getting annoyed with Ian. Like, come on, let's go. Yeah. They're all like. All right, Dad. Let's go. They're just watching the show. Hmm. Uh oh, this is a lie. Let's see how it goes. Live judging. We got live. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is a great lineup. I feel like overall, and no, not oh. being biased, Don. Don Don's is looking nice. Man. Don is looking amazing, and Don has the best hair of everybody up there too. <laughs> he makes him stand out. Oh, definitely. He just polished, ain't he? He is. In that classic look. So good. Taking your time with that posing. There you go. Sammy's over here devouring one of the amazing cookie sponsors that we have here. Ian is the best, <laughs> Philip. He have us dying laughing. <laughs> oh, look at that back. Look at that double back. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I don't know how uh, Don doesn't. Look at Glory. <laughs> 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 she's over there like she's praising God with her arms in the air. <laughs> He came in so tight. Yes, he looks together. And then you compare the differences between the two from Jeez. the Showtime Did you tell Classic. Me? 23 inch crazy. waist. 23 that was crazy, inch right? waist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the difference. That's His amazing. coach showed me himself. I had a 23 inch once. <laughs> yeah, when I was like four. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he did it when he vacuumed. <laughs> <laughs> Is that when he measured it during the back? Great posing from all these gentlemen. I'm Every single you. one. Woo! They all get it. See, look on here. Yeah. The symmetry is crazy. I got to tell you guys, from the viewers <laughs> at home, it, it, that doesn't. The the picture does not do that justice no, at but all. No, Philip said Don's waist is on another level. <laughs> Talk about it. Be ready for that. I, I can't do it right now. You gotta announce it first. It's nice when the little guy wins it, right? The yeah. shorter guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I fully relate. I get it. Amanda, we are doing, you're looking at the overall of classic um, physique. physique. 
This is the lightweight against the heavyweight and the medium weight. Yep, they're doing the live judging right now. Live judging. You, you tuned back in at the perfect time. <laughs> All three of these guys, Amanda, just got their pro card, though, as well. Jeez. There it is. Look at that. The one, the pose that Don's hitting right now, that's one I want to master. That's beautiful. God. It's a hard one. I don't think I have the balance or the. Uh, I notice when I drop down in that, I when I, I try to come up, right. I feel the tightness in my lower back, so I definitely need to stretch that out. No, well, I'm thinking of like I'm at that age where if I start trying to squat like that, like how many, how many of my joints will snap, crackle, and pop? You know what I mean? Like a damn near Rice Krispie treat. All right, here we go. <laughs> Holy shit. Who do you guys have in the comments? Don. Who in the comments? Who you guys got? Eighty-eight, twenty, or one twenty-five. Is that one twenty-five or one thirty-one thirty-five? I think it's one twenty-five. One thirty-five. One thirty-five. It's all right. It's kind of far. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can zoom in. <laughs> so we got we got sexual chocolate. Magic Alexander. I feel like we got to give a nickname to, to, to Mr. 135 over there. Nope, Miss Amanda. The figure girls are in the wings. <laughs> 88 might give us another dance break. Another dance break. <laughs> Let's go. I feel like we're going to take a break on the show and he's going to come out here pop locking and dancing <laughs> and stuff. You know what I mean? Just Philip. Philip said 100. <laughs> Philip said. Philip, Philip has uh, Don. 100 on Don. 100. Ah, look at that. Let's go. Number 20. Wait. Lamar said Alex. My husband said 20. Yep. Done. And you get one of those Good amazing call, wolf pack backpacks. <laughs> Don, you absolutely yes. deserve it, young man. Great nice job. Well deserved. You were right, Gear. Congrats, Don. Congratulations. That's what's up. Perseverance right there. Absolutely. He is killing it, Sean. Man. Yes. <laughs> and just proves and just goes to show Clean you that. Up today. Doesn't matter your size, it just matters about the work you put in. Right. Your symmetry and balance. Symmetry, Absolutely. balance. It doesn't matter on stage. I try to take it from the little girl. Right. For we have our very own little champion so, right here. Robin, first time we met, I was like, I thought Robin was a little like me. And I met her, and I'm like, oh, no, she's not. Uh -huh. <laughs> And I what? was shocked to see how small you were. Too. I'm like, Bammy, you're so little. And she goes, I know. <laughs> but so apparently your guys' voices changed too when you guys have little... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, is that the same thing? <laughs> That's okay. Oh, cool, guys. <laughs> That's because great things come in small packages. All right, so we got Megan on stage. Now I have seen her compete for years, and this is by far. Uh, she just finished firefighter school. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. And she wanted to uh, challenge herself just to kind of get back into stage shape. And yes, uh, she so. looks phenomenal. I love her suit. Yep. She's a she's a hard worker. She's got great poise up there, too. I mean, she got through firefighter school. How do you? Yeah. That says enough. We're bringing out competitor number 37, Angie Powers. Make some noise. 
Come on, Angie. I like her suit, too. I oh, I do. Shout out to these girls holding down these physiques Yo. all day. <laughs> That's hard. Oh, sorry. Here we go. So they've already, yeah, they've already done their routine. Yep. Good for Christy. Yes. She was, I went backstage, she was so smiley and just so happy. Just, I was gonna say she has such a great attitude. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, here she comes with those cute ponytails. Yeah. She definitely had the best hair in that lineup. Yeah. And the colors of her, of her outfit are amazing, right? <laughs> you said you better work this set. <laughs> she does have a beautiful, pose, uh, beautiful suit. Oh, this is our first time we're doing a routine. Oh, that's a very unique suit color. I like that. Definitely. Her back really pulls her physique together. She's mm. got that, some that, nice yeah. muscle on her frame, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is going to be a tough Listen one. For your numbers, ladies. Here we go. Andy on stage. Here it is. Competitor number 16, 47, 89, 54, and 51. This is figure A, figure short. Christy Lewis in fifth. I'm going to take number 54 yeah. to win. I think it just goes with the hair. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you guys. <laughs> in fourth place, take that over to competitor number 89, Megan Dennison. Megan, okay. So place, cool to be a firefighter. Take that yeah, and honestly, I, I'm pretty sure she's happy about this because her goal was just to get back on stage. Good for her. You got to be in really good shape being a firefighter, too, so she's on the right track. Right All right, in second place, do, do, do. take that over to competitor number 47, Tracy Wright. Oh, hey. You were right. Look at you. You're on fire today. Man. I'm on fire. Hey, look, guys. <laughs> I'll judge every show from here on out. You know what I mean? I got it. <laughs> clearly, clearly, I got an eye for this. <laughs> Congratulations to our winner. She looks amazing. She looks amazing. Sometimes it's easy to pick the winner. It's not easy to place everyone else. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Maybe that'll be my specialty as a judge. Just pick I the winner, I only pick winners, I only pick winners, winners. guys. All That's right, it. let's get a shot of her by herself. Good for her. Oh, Sammy, how's that? How's that content been going with you with these, with the packages? It went so good, I shut it down. Oh, wow. What do you mean? I mean, I pulled it off my website because I don't want to, you know, be inundated with too much work. Oh. oh. <laughs> She's like, it's, I, I want to control the baby. Yeah, control it. Control it. <laughs> Oh, she's a pro card winner. Congrats. Good for her. Oh, they forgot and the crown. And she was shocked. Oh, my uh -oh. God. No, no, no. No, no. You can't get Don't without the crown. Don't let her forget her crown. Oh, no. Look oh, at okay. Daryl. I love Daryl. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. We need to do this again, please. Do over. <laughs> Have a standard. Good for her. Oh, she's doing the superwoman. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's the moment we all practice for. That's the, awesome. Our own, our own individual victory pose. One day I'll, uh, I, one day I'll experience right, that. You know, I'll work on, I'll work on my victory pose before the victory happens. <laughs> that's how, that's how it works. Is that how that works? Yeah. All right, guys, I will have. Here the comes the men's physique open. <laughs> Kyle. Let's go, Adam. Oh, 
another great story. I like his name too, Yanir. Yanir? Yeah. yeah. Rare breed. Good job, Zach. This is a real estate agent. And lastly, we've got competitor number 60, Adrian Rivera. Woo! I think Yanir is going to win this class. That's going to be a pro card for him. That'd be cool. So how are pro cards handed out in this federation? How are they? Yeah, how, I mean, because... Five or more. Five or more. Yeah. So but because the classes are so big, Daryl's doing the overall award, too. Uh, it's not required. You could just let them get theirs and keep it going, but okay. the overall award is a nice touch for his show. Some shows require you to do the overall... Right. Like IPE, you do, you win your class and then you go up against the overall, and then that's how you win your pro card. Right. Okay. But NGA, just five or more competitors. Okay. Yeah, because I was thinking, because I did OCB recently, and OCB is just overall, and that's yeah, they it. They do that too, like IPE. Right. Well, okay. Right. You win your class and then you do overall. Good for him. All right. Good job, Yunair. Good for him. Another rare beat athlete, as we've been talking about. I feel like this has been a promo for rare beat. <laughs> And their team. Yeah. But hey, when you have the athletes and you have up. the results, <laughs> right, you, you deserve the credit that you've earned. It speaks for itself. Right Big shout out to hey, Mikey. Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Yanir. Congrats. Yes. He looks amazed like I do. He does. <laughs> he, he, Good for uh -huh. him. Good for him. He's excited. Look at him. He's speechless. He don't know what to do. He's like star student. He's like, what? I'm a pro? Awesome. Good for him. Love it. That's right. You can take that to Applebee's and get a free water. <laughs> oh, my God. He ain't lying. <laughs> That, that's our MC. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> my cheeks hurt. It's <laughs> Here we go. Make some noise, Michael B. Jordan. This is class B, maybe the tall class. I, I think it's a men's physique open. Men's physique, it's the open, but I think it's a different class, so it's like tall oh, class. Oh, I see what you're saying. Or not tall, I don't know. Maybe it's class B. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a class B. I, the first one was there class There you go, a. Mr. France. I believe this is class B. Yep. This is a MBA show, and we're all just living in it. Well, let's go, Lone Wolf Nation 89. Is he back? He's back. What? Who? Lone Wolf Nation? Want to lose 500 pounds to compete in that someday, like my mom and Alex. Let's go. One pound at a time, my man. But I know, I, man. Good luck. Oh, and happy late birthday, Aaron. Is that him, Lone Wolf Nation? Yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know who he is. Oh. Um, yeah, his uh, his mom and and you guys would, uh, Alex. Uh, who competed the here one last, that last year? year yeah, 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 the one that won for his pro card last year. Um, grit, grit, grit. Alex Grit. Oh, okay. Yes, I know yes. what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one between 116 and 42. It's like, what are you looking for here? Yeah, 116 looks great. 116's lats are amazing. His chest is too. Dude. Yeah, that's true. Chest. 
Oh, that'd be a tough one. I gotta go with 116 on this one, but that's yeah, just I me. Yeah, I think so, because he looks more men's physique. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if they're gonna award a pro card for both. I love this kid's energy. He reminds me of Jose from last year. That yes. did, did cl uh, classic physique and men's physique. It's my bro, man. <laughs> he was gonna compete this year, but he had a, a shoulder injury or, or chest injury. Mm. And I was like, body building ain't going nowhere. You know, take care of your injuries, get yourself together. She can be your best. Absolutely. Give 41. He's like, yeah. Competitor number 116. Oh, whoa. Oh, did not expect that one, guys. Me either. Oh my God! There you go, man. Francis. Clean it there up. There you go, France. Wow. So, according to these judges, he's Ooh. got one of those physiques that's taken classic, taken. He didn't do bodybuilding. No, did he? no. But I classic think and with men's physique. Wow. That's freaking crazy. Where he's gonna it? have to definitely check a bag. It's his. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Wow. I don't know, man. Well, he's got another bag to carry all those those medals oh in and God. everything and trophies. Have to check a bag. It's going to be more expensive to go home, go back home than it was oh to, my God, to right? go. He'd be wow. better off stopping somewhere and, and shipping that stuff. Yeah, right? <laughs> Dude, the price of that membership was perfect. Right? I'm <laughs> <laughs> he got his uh, he, he, he got literally his money's worth. What was it called? He, he definitely got his worth weight in gold or whatever there the heck go. it's called. <laughs> literally, <laughs> in medals, he got it. Man. <laughs> oh. I, I I I don't know how uh, Embe doesn't win. I I might just be fanboying right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a given. It's a game. There's a theme going on here, you know? Yeah, yeah. Wow. You never know, because like I said, the show I went to last weekend, it seemed like automatic that the bigger guy was going to win. Right. But the the other guy had more of that men's physique look, uh, despite having the more muscle. I really am. Um, I like the I like look. the. I like the tiny waist mm -hmm. on 113. You're near. Yep. Yeah. He does look really men's physique. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is a, that is an interesting point. Number yeah. number 42 is a little blockier yeah. around the waist. Uh. It, not not in a bad way. It's just it's a lot of muscle, but it's just they're just built different. They're just yeah. two very different physiques. Right. And not to mention he's already won enough tonight, you know. Yeah. Let's, let's, no. let's, uh, so so when I look at him, I, I don't I don't look at a physique that says I train for men's physique. Ah, you know? that's you know? an interesting point. And that makes sense too, considering that he just yeah. did classic. So yeah. I mean uh, yeah. he can go either way. You know, and I, I look at our other young athlete and the, that's his class. That's what he wakes up in, you know, eat, drinks and sleeps is men's physique. I gotcha. I gotcha. Not that that would you know, as far as like, that's just me giving commentary. <laughs> I, I, I Not that I'm judging <laughs> on that, I guess. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pretty much what I just heard is, do you even lift, bro? Is just kind of what I heard, Sammy. I'm like, oh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying kidding. that is, no, I'm saying that he trains very specifically for this division. Oh, absolutely. Right. That's what I was saying. Oh, no, no, I was kidding. I know. I'm just <laughs> and then certain physiques just have all the criteria that men's physique is looking for. Correct. Right. And while he, like I said, 42 is impressive, but 113 does have that smaller V taper, that more men's physique look. So we never know how it's going to go. That'd be a pretty good flex if you took it, though. That would be. Hmm. Hmm. I like how he came out there and he posed his butt off. Like, it doesn't matter what you just All won. Right. Damn right. Give my best. Damn right. That's what's up. How else are you supposed to approach it, you know? <laughs> so I'm come out with that defeated. Like, oh, well, I'm just going to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well. Our winner oh. for tonight. <laughs> Open. Men's physique. Overall champion is competitor number 42. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
You think he's happy? Uh, I think he's a little, grateful. A little excited. Yeah, he's excited about that. I think Daryl's shaking his head. He wants to pull enough, some more. Right? <laughs> Daryl's Look at just... that. <laughs> right. Right? <laughs> so now, now for me, I always want to know, because he is so excited, and he obviously earned these wins. You always want to know the backstory. What did he give up? What did he sacrifice? You know, what was he going through in his, in his life to prep for this stage? Because right. this show, obviously, they traveled far for this. This is right. an important show for him. And it's like all those stories. That's why I love Subculture Live and doing the podcast and things like that. Because you want to make those connections. Mm -hmm. um, and it makes the, the win that much sweeter. Absolutely. Wouldn't that be a cool follow-up to maybe reach out yeah. to him, Sammy oh. Joe, and get him on your show? If only if he spoke English. Yeah, and I was going to say, I oh, wish. Not a lot. No. I did lot. talk to him. He did tell me I was like, it's broken a yes. little bit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But he does speak win. <laughs> <laughs> you won. He understood that. I was like, what language is that? Oh, that's why it I didn't matter. Yeah, I won. No, there's a reason why I didn't know the language. I was like, oh, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> there we go. We have our bikini girls. Bikini. What Alex say? Oh, he said that Alex might be here tomorrow to cheer on everyone. Oh, awesome. Well, I know, um, I know uh, Tivise is one of his good friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah. All right, here we go. Bikini open. We always end the show with bikini. But so when we see bikini, we know it's close to the end, please. right? I believe so. I think Daryl's doing really good with the timing of the show. It's great. 100%. Smooth. I'm going backwards. Wait. Oh, we got some clapper. Clap, clap, clap. Mm -hmm. They're excited. <laughs> I think that was their competitor. Alright. A little spin. Love it. The moms yes. showing up. Yes. And you know what? I know I've said this a million times, but the taking away, omitting the T-Walk has left nothing on the stage as far as um, them being able to express their personality. They are doing it just fine right there in the they center are. of the stage. I've noticed that. No, yes. I was kind of maybe a little concerned that that was maybe a little hiccup being new, but no, they're they handling it. Are. I'm loving it. Coming to the stage, already won some. Here we go. Come back to number 105. Gabriela Oh, okay. <laughs> Lone Wolf said it's time for you to learn French. Ha! <laughs> In all my spare time. <laughs> Good job. All right, so she's already won yeah, in the wellness the pro, pro card. card. Yeah, now she's in the bikini. That suit is so, uh, I love that color. Yeah, normally you see the, the ladies with the dark hair wearing the red, but she's making it work. Mm -hmm. I um we we kind of went through their bios earlier, so. Mm -hmm. All right, you've got the number 142, Victoria. Who got that? 142. Amanda said that watching this show makes her miss being on stage so bad. This show is on my one-day bucket list. Let's go, Amanda. Oh. 
I don't blame her. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel this urge to compete in this next year as well. <laughs> but this is me right now. Who knows how I'm going to feel tomorrow and right. the day after. Shows have a way of inspiring you, right? Oh, absolutely. Now, she will be competing tomorrow in the Pro Masters. She's our Pro Masters winner from last year. Oh. oh. Yes. So she's like, you know what? I'm going to jump in the open amateur and try to earn my pro card there. There oh, we go. Wow. So I love that. Great way to, to yes. get the, I don't know, nerves out maybe. But that's what she said too, because <laughs> this is her first show of the season. And she said every year, she goes, I know I've done this and I'm a seasoned competitor. She goes, but those first few shows, I get the, I just get the butterflies and yeah. I get nervous. And, um, but once she starts, she usually finishes the year very strong. Uh -huh. Yeah, a nice tight waistline going on there. She does. She she came to compete for sure. Miss Amanda, yes, your daughter did very well. 142. And I love the fact that you keep supporting her every single time she's on stage. That's awesome. That's right. That's what it's all about right there. <laughs> Are you enjoying the show, Amanda? Are we getting a good coverage, girl? Great, great class. I think I've said that about every class, but <laughs> but they really are, though. Bikini was by far the strongest representation, like as far as like overall. Mm. I feel like in this amateur show, bikini just was was very strong. I feel like that too. I almost I almost forgot I was watching amateur, look like a pro show almost. Mm -hmm. Didn't Ooh. this young lady, the fourth place, win something earlier? Yeah, I Did believe. she win a pro card and I believe wellness so. or something? Mm. No, Masters. I think she won the Masters. Wow. There it is. Wow, that means Miss 142. And you see how that was? Like, she beat her. Was she in the wellness? No? Oh, yeah, she did. Wow. I think they both did wellness. 142. She took it. Good for them. Look at that, Amanda. Your baby won. Congratulations, Mama. And she said, yes, it is. Awesome. You all you all are great. Absolutely. Live stream. She's saying to Amy Jo. Yay. Yeah, her and 105 went in wellness together. Yeah. Then that just goes to show she's more bikini. She's more wellness. Works. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, so double pro cards today. Two. Mm -hmm. How the wellness, uh, two wellness. And, okay, so wellness is a new division, a new category to the uh, NGA, and they're trying to grow the pro ranks. You can see so that. they added that to their bylaws last year that every uh, show that had five or more athletes in it, there would be two pro cards awarded just to kind of help the um, to help it grow a little quicker so that there were more ladies showing up to the pro shows, if that makes sense. So that was, uh, they did that previously um, years back with the women's physique as well. And also a lot of women just kind of jump in in different divisions, kind of see where they stack up. And so they both decided to do both categories to see where they they land, and it was it worked oh. out. Oh, second in wellness, first and because second. one had a more. Wellness. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I read that wrong. I'm sorry. One had a more wellness physique versus a bikini. Yeah, absolutely. But you just kind of get on both stages and just see where you stack up, and you see that they both top tier. <laughs> Okay, so Revo Magazine is here representing their brand. I think they're out from the Midwest. And there was going to be one athlete selected for a photo shoot with Revo, Revo Magazine. Um, and here we are. So she will also be featured in their magazine and I believe even the cover of the magazine. Oh, wow. Yes. They did something similar to this last year. So awesome. 
Congratulations to her. Uh, that is that is an opportunity of a lifetime. He takes incredible photos, very high-end magazine. Uh, we are honored. He just came here on his own um, just to network and meet the athletes, and he's a huge supporter of natural bodybuilding, and he's all about helping athletes build their brands, build their personal brands. So that's a huge opportunity for her. Great exposure. All right, we got Jennifer. She looks great. So I just she saw her amazing. compete two weeks ago up in New Jersey at the ANBF show. And I will say, she looks even better today than she did when I saw her. It's always interesting how that goes. Just literally within a short time, you just change your physique that much. Yes. And she's another rare breed athlete. Just thought I'd throw that out <laughs> there. <laughs> Yay! Her tan looks really good. Oh, that's a really good tan. Tears of joy. Number 93, Allison Rucci. <laughs> I'll let you take that qu that comment, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so hard for the people at home to understand the sport. Um, when it comes, like like Sammy Joe brought up, that there's wellness is a new division. If there was no wellness division, all of those ladies would be doing bikini. So... Do I fit wellness? Do I fit bikini? If they've been successful in bikini before, they may jump into that division. But when you're getting prepared for these shows, you want to do, you want to kind of jump in every division you can, make it worth mm. your while and time. These these athletes are preparing for months and months and months, and they want to just see where they're going to do well at. Okay. If you step on the stage and you're you're more bikini than everyone else, then that's the way the judges looked at it. If you get on stage and you may be more wellness, you know, either way it goes. If they didn't, if those two young ladies could have also not done well. And then they would get the judges' feedback and tell them one way or the other. So I don't, I think it's fair because you get up there, you see what happens. There's Anna, Miss Anna. So, yeah, we have to say her husband is going to be competing as a pro men's physique athlete tomorrow. Husband is Malik Carey, Malik, correct? Yes. Carey, That's okay with me. Carey Permit <laughs> Fitness. And uh, their two daughters are here Bring in attendance. It. Yes. When she gets on that stage, she takes over. It's the honor stage. Let's go. Definitely got a good energy. Oh, little hair okay. sweat. Okay. I'm trying to tell you, you know what? I'm going to do that next time, guys. Look at those legs. I might not have any hair to do it, but I'll do it anyways. <laughs> so you're here watching live. Oh, hey. Ramiro, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's okay. You know, the way I view it, and guys, correct me if I'm wrong, because you know how, like, for men, we got physique, classic physique, and we got bodybuilding. Sure. If we didn't have that classic physique in there, there'd just be, like, one or the other, and it's just, like, the human body is yeah. not just one or the other. There's a spectrum with how our bodies are, and I think all of them should definitely be recognized in those respects. And that's the reason why they've created these different divisions, because they were all in the same page at one all in the same stage at one time. And right. That's not fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Anna's in the top five. Let's go. All right. Mm. All right. I'll take Miss Carey to win. That's all. Yeah. She owned that stage. Oh, well, look at Fourth. Let's right. go. Oh. There you go. Congratulations. She's following in my footsteps. <laughs> is, is that what it is? Is I that what it is? She's on the Robin plan. Year. You know what I'm All saying? All right. <laughs> hey, good job, John. Yeah. Her husband are amazing. Her and her, sorry, boyfriend are amazing people. Mm -hmm. Amazing, right. amazing people. Good for her. 
another pro. Another pro card. I'm another sorry. pro card. Another pro card. <laughs> and now I, now I like how we have this distinction. You've earned your pro card. You're not a pro. Yeah. That kind of makes sense, though. I can get behind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amanda, you're right. The crossovers can get a little tricky. So, yeah, the OCB just eliminate, eliminates it. Then there's no, no, uh, no question. Define wellness. Ooh, I can do that. <laughs> so, you know, the funny thing about wellness is the non-proportion, right? We think of bodybuilding, we think of symmetry, we think of proportions, where in wellness, we're actually looking, they're, they're typically a little bottom heavy. Um, that's actually in the criteria is non-proportions. Um, it's looking for that more muscular, lower body. And it gets mixed up sometimes because Larger in, some, mass. in yeah. some women, it's maybe they should have been bikini and they could have just dieted a little bit more to get that, to bring their legs in a little leaner. Um, and then some of them, just no matter how lean they get, they have that muscle, muscle you know, uh -huh. on the bottom half. But like she was saying, um, they're non-proportioned. So when you think about proportions on a regular athlete, that means that their top should ma match the bottom. Uh -huh. Case in point, maybe their biceps are big, but their quads are small. You know, you want to have that upper and lower proportion, and then symmetry is left to right. Mm. You don't want to have a left bicep bigger than your right bicep, or your left quad bigger than your right quad. So with with wellness, they are supposed to be unproportioned. That lower bottom is going to be the glutes and the hamstrings, and the quads are going to be a lot more bottom heavy, like Sammy Joe said, more muscular than the upper body. Ah. So. That's wellness. Martin. <laughs> Martin Drake. <laughs> it's a good question, though. It is. Because it is so new. It's very new, and that's, prob uh, that's why I, uh, I agree with the crossover when it comes to that. Trying to find your space. And, it, and if it uh, makes you feel any better, I've been asking these ladies the differences for the past two months. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm still getting used to it, too, guys. Yeah. You know, one thing I do love about the bikini division in the NGA is the back pose. Mm. They require them to put that hand on the hip and yeah. flare those lats. I think that is so appealing. Yeah. And they move their hair. Mm. The moving the hair thing is so cool. I think they should because we work all our body parts. We need to see your beautiful back, too. Come on. I, I feel like, I, like I said, I want to grow out my hair for the next competition so I could just hit that little hair flip. Stop it. Alan. Challenge accepted, Sammy. Stop. <laughs> Oh, and they got a belt. Oh, and, a, belt. and a huge backpack. Is that, is that a pink wolf pack? That yeah. is a pink Robin. wolf pack. <laughs> I love my wolf pack. The Florida Pro Florida State Natural NGA, here we go, is the Predator number 142. Good for her. Look at the support out there in the crowd for her, too. Good for her. What a moment. That is amazing. What a special day for her. Perfect representation of bikini, in my opinion. Yep. So she's done wellness. She's done bikini. She can decide. She, I would, with the success of this show, right. stick with bikini. Right. <laughs> in yes. other words, she did very well in bikini. Yeah, and she did well in wellness, too. She got second. That's However, true. However, this is her division. Oh, wait. That was an, uh, that was an Alan joke. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that one. Uh, I love it. Thank you, Sammy. Yeah. I missed that one. That's, very uh, well uh, in bikini. That's, uh, that's what I love about uh, dad jokes. They're all it's apparent. It's long day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and a thousand dollars. Oh yes, dollars. she got two thousand, I think, dollars. Wow, is that two? No, it's a thousand dollars. A thousand yep. for, for so a bikini towards her bikini with. Can, woo -woo. 
Yes. So that gives you guys an idea of how much these blinged out yes. suits cost. She may even have to add a little something yes, to that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's really how much these things yes. cost. Wow. Yes. So it's not like our Chula shorts where we just spend no. 60 bucks on shorts, huh? No. No. Robin Some of just gave you a dirty look. <laughs> it's like dollars sorry which is a lot in pesos if you think no about way. it jeez guys yeah. God, leave me alone. <laughs> some of those suits i've seen have been like twenty four thousand i've seen some with twenty four hundred three thousand dollars wow. and, that, and that's in our second hand stores that oh we have like gosh. that's us figure girls or competitors create like these sites where we'll like sell them and swap them oh. i think the most expensive, expensive one i've seen was like six gotcha. i'm like i, I wouldn't buy a six thousand dollar suit not me Thousands of those little crystals. Thousands. Yeah. Some of them weigh probably like oh, seven thousand. Oh, I can't even imagine. Yeah, you would have to work out just to wear that thing on yeah, stage, I guess, right? Those are not your average bikinis at the at the beach. Those are heavy suits. Uh, even the ones we saw today, they were pretty heavy. Yes. Right. Yes. So, guys, that is the conclusion of the amateur portion of the Florida State Natural. Tomorrow we have the pros. Oh, now she hitters. will she will have the option to compete with the pros tomorrow. Uh, she's backstage telling Daryl her decision as we speak. Wow. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Sorry. I thought we were on the <laughs> screen. So yeah, she's backstage telling Daryl her decision. So we may see her competing again tomorrow uh, with the pros. I would actually recommend it. I would do it. Oh, good. why not? I would do it. Yeah, and just for the experience. All right, right. And and again, according to Robin, you're not a pro unless you start competing against other pros. Yeah. You gotta step on that pro stage. Mm -hmm. and you just gotta think about the pros and cons, and I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of them in there. Ding ding. Okay. All right, guys. I'm done. Um, let's eat. <laughs> let's eat. Yeah. So, all right, guys. So tomorrow we'll be here, same uh, same place. Nine o'clock is going to be the start of prejudging for the pros. You guys definitely want to tune in for that. Uh, and all the classes are incredible. But that will give you a better idea for questions that were uh, people that were asking questions about the standard and the criteria. You'll definitely be able to see that in the pro divisions because every single one of them brings it and represents their class uh, or their their category perfectly yeah yeah so we will see you guys have a great night thanks for tuning in you guys have a good one oh, that was awesome.